Good for him. So this year it's Vader, Batista so far. But uh, what happened on New Year's Dash? Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett has another company. <laughs> this time in Europe. <laughs> in Iberia. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Enjoy Portugal. Uh, all right. New Year's Dash. They set up. Uh, Fale literally, and like literally Su- nothing happened. Fale and Suzuki Goon. So Fale joined Suzuki Goon, of course. Uh huh. Okada. Oh, Tom. Muhammad Yone beat Kai. Okay. Sure. I guess they're just signing all the Japanese guys. Yeah. Did you know that their tag team champions are, um, oh, what was it, Ricochet and Fale? What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was their tag team champions. TW, you're drunk. <laughs> yep. Ricochet, Bad Luck Fale, it rhymes. Put them together, bro. Sells itself. Guys, hear about Jeff Jarrett sending people to Japan for Russell's Kingdom? I did. Wait, He's selling what? travel packages now. Wait, what? Jeff Jarrett is selling travel packages to Wrestle Kingdom. Well, I mean, Global Force Wrestling in association with WrestlingTravel.com or some shit. But, like, it's Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> it's just, just Jeff those are Those are just two shell companies for Jeff Jarrett. Okay. Um, like, you, you, call, you probably called that number and it's like, Hello, Jarrett residents. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm calling about the wrestle. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This is WrestlingTravel.com. How may I help you? Yeah. Hello, Jarrett residents. Are you calling about travel or gold today? (laughs) Oh, Super Porky. Oh, no. Not Super Nick. Super Porky's a free agent. (coughs) (laughs) Look, I know it's the moment of a lifetime, but please please don't die over Super Porky possibly coming to Impact. I wasn't ready. (laughs) Did GFW not merge with Impact? No, it's very complicated. Uh... Mad Braddocks is in Lucha Underground. Oh, that's actually his name in this. That's gross. Why would it be? That's his name. It's not. He's mad and he's Braddocks. He's Mad no, Braddocks. No, he's not. That was like a joke on Twitter. He never yeah. actually... First of all, he like immediately Retired. left the wrestling business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, he's not joining anyone anywhere. Remember Brad Maddox? That was... Vaguely. Yeah. That was a time. What a cocky prick. <laughs> oh, Saltador upset Lucha Underground. Okay. Slamming people for their attitude problems. That that checks out. Yeah, I mean, they still book Eva Lee, right? Yeah, and, and Vampiro is still running the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Lucha Underground seems like it's falling apart at the seams. Mm-hmm. Accurate. Hopefully I don't know no, who this uh, is, and I watched the Mae Young Classic, so... Miranda Salinas. Oh. From Reality of Wrestling in Houston, Texas. Trailer by Booker T. What, what do we have for an email? Brick South. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was already here. Nah, he's here. I don't I got no I got nothing. Let's just Hey y'all, it's me, Brick South Carolina. What's going on? Uh at this time oh. I'm allowing to throw it over to my commentary partner, Ultraman is black. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> you you cracked it. It is the great and devious Ultraman is black. That's our <laughs> actual commentary team. Yeah, for for anyone who doesn't know, the world's best commentary team, Brick, South Carolina, someone who is made up. (laughs) A 19-year-old. A 19-year-old. Announcer from the Deep South. (laughs) And Ultraman is black. So are we we going back to Hawaii, or have we kind of run run Hawaii? Did we just do that a few? It feels like we run Hawaii, like, every other week. Yeah, that's what I was... Uh, we were there in December, November. We haven't been to the Southwest in a while. All right. 
Let's go to California. Okay, so we should go to South Carolina. Damn. Should Brick South Carolina just oh, be a Ultraman fan? Oh, Ultraman is Black isn't here yet, so we should save that for when he's here. Is Brick debuting? I think he's already on the team, but it says there on the bottom, Ultraman is con- uh, contract hasn't started. Yeah, yet. we have Jeremy there just to cover. Yeah, yeah. In the look meantime. At, look at Brick South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> he went from being a relief pitcher for his college team. So now uh, he, he went from selling weed <laughs> out of a trailer to doing commentary for Impact. He went from trampoline wrestling all the way to Impact wrestling. It's just <laughs> to be fair, we could have picked like up for like a guy in a suit as a picture, but we were like, no, 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 no that's, that's South Carolina. Yeah, that's Brick, South Carolina. Can't wait to have Brick, South Carolina, be here in California. What did Lashley do? No, oh, he set up a pancake station. Lashley, that's gimmick infringement. <laughs> also, that was in this game before the New Day had their pancake gimmick. Hmm. Coincidence? Yeah. I mean, yes, entirely. Well, Almost well, certainly, on. yes. I, I can make a 17-minute YouTube video on this. Hold on. <laughs> you just need to uh, get some red yarn and print out a bunch of pictures, yep. get a cork board. All I need really is a thumbnail with a red circle and an arrow pointing to it. Yeah, there you go. To the pancakes, specifically. And then, boom, done. We tried to reach out to the New Day for comment, but they wouldn't answer any of our questions. <laughs> they <laughs> wouldn't the even S-charge. respond. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, I'm not saying they stole the idea, but yeah. I'm not saying they didn't. What the fuck are we doing on this show? What the fuck are we doing? I don't know. What did, what did we do last <laughs> week? Uh, we're, we're booking towards like a pay-per-view. All right. So this is week, that was week one. last. So we still got three weeks until the pay-per-view. Yeah. And we're doing Shelly and Xavier. Right. We set that up. He won a number one contenders match. Yep. Okay. Oh, we're doing Feast or Fire. We got to. Oh, Sting announced it. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, we got it right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rosemary turned on Hojo for, like, no reason. Hey, Pop, how's it going? What's up, Pop? Can can you please resign our contract? Can you extend us? (laughs) Yeah, can you you give us a a better time spot than we currently have? Because I think we're in, like, Graveyard. Yeah, just like the real TNA. Yeah. Uh... I, th- I think we can. We'll figure it out. Fuck it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll do it live. Yeah. I don't. I mean, we we have just to remind people. We have our notepad, which I have now slid in front here. So we we'll figure it out from there. Oh boy. Oh, <coughs> I am slowly dying. Are you, you okay, buddy? <coughs> I am coming off a cold. Okay. So that's why. You got you got some uh, you got some lozenges over there or something? Yeah, it's called uh, Wachusett's Blueberry Ale, and it's working out real well for me. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. Uh let's uh, what do we? What do, let's let's start with. You wanna you wanna try Desmond Xavier in a promo? Yeah, why not? We've done that. It's done well. Let the uh, let the champ and the challenger talk to each other. All right, so Desmond Xavier will come out. He's uh, he's bragging about winning that Fatal Four Away. Yes, number one contenders match. Uh huh. <laughs> Damn it, Strauss. Um, and he's saying that he's going to beat Alex Shelley, no problem. You know, taking out old trash TNA wrestlers. From before he was even wrestling. Won't even be a problem. Uh, Shelly's going to come out. Do some commentary about. You know. It's it's not old age. It's experience. And Shelly's not even that old is he? Is he over 40 even? Uh, no he's not over 40. He's yeah, in his so, 30s though. He, he could even be like I'm not even 40. Like 
I don't like. Yeah, I've been wrestling for a while, but like, I'm not that much older than you. Uh, c- can we have uh, Jake Hager come out and be like, you are you, like, uh, for start calling Alex Shelley a millennial, and then Alex Shelley be like, no, I'm not a millennial, but doesn't say he actually is a millennial. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go call him a millennial? They'd be like, no, no, he's cool. You're a millennial. I love it. <laughs> Please don't actually do that. Nope, That's he's true. there. All right. It, it happened. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to set up a main event of uh, Desmond Xavier and Jake Hager taking on Alex Shelley and somebody. Yeah, who who is Hager feuding with? Uh, um, Keith Lee, last night. All last right, guess who's coming out to uh, stick up for his good friend Alex Shelley now? <laughs> Keith, Keith Lee. Lee. He's going to come out and be like, wait a minute, so I'm a millennial and it's bad, but Desmond Xavier is a millennial and he's cool. But and then, no, we have to make it clear that Jake Hager has actually no idea what millennial means. Like, no, 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 Desmond Xavier's not a millennial. He's he's no, no. Me, I talked to him backstage. He's cool. Yeah. Like, no, he's he's exactly a millennial. He's like twenty three years old. Ah, no, 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 no. You guys, yeah. you guys, see this whining? That's why you're millennials. Meanwhile, Desmond Xavier's like on his phone, not even paying attention. <laughs> hey, what are you guys talking about? Yeah. I was uh, taking a selfie for Instagram. Yeah, exactly. On. <laughs> see, this worked out well. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Xavier and Shelly. Yeah, Keith Lee is 33. Alex Shelley's like late 30s. Neither millennials. No, it, it was just a good... I just thought it was good to keep our bit going of like Jake Hager doesn't know what a millennial is. Yeah, this is good. Also, there's a, a built-in ending to this. What's that? Uh, Brody Lee just beats the shit out of Keith Lee, and then the baddies win. Okay. You know what? Let's just book that now before I forget. Sure. I just realized we booked I- Jake Hager and Keith Lee into our main event. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they've both been they've both been doing well so uh let's see it would be hagger and uh desmond Xavier. what a team yep <laughs> versus alex shelley and keith lee also what a team yes yeah, four very similar people yep i can't wait to see just keith lee throwing alex shelley around and shelley doing drop kicks and shit why is he throwing Shelly around? Like propel, pro, propel. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Like, like back doing a backdrop onto uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Xavier or something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll give Xavier the win because he needs it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Keith Lee would obviously take the loss in this scenario. And where's our interference? Outside interference. Ah, uh, finish. And Keith Lee is attacked by Brody Lee, who are feuding over the last name Lee. They're not. Well, okay. It's not like the name Lee is on the line yet. I um, yeah, we have not it's established more, it's that. It's more just like he's making a mockery of our name. Yeah, they're feuding over the name Lee, not like over it, but like yeah. that is yeah. the that is the feud. Yeah. Oh, it did turn into an impromptu hag rag. All right, so that is that. We have now done two of our storylines. We should mm-hmm. probably do our ladies. I, I, I well, I got I got Lashley and uh, okay. Ethan. What you got? Just, Lashley's gonna come out. He's gonna have the chicken suit with him. He's gonna be like, I can't believe Ethan Carter and MJF with the levels you stoop to hitting me with a lead pipe. Just so you could put me in a chicken suit. What? Why was that even so important to you? Okay, you know what? The, you know what I think of this chicken suit. And he's gonna take the chicken suit, and rip it in half, and Ooh. then Ethan's gonna come. Him, Ethan and MJF are gonna come out. He's gonna, how dare you wear that chicken suit? That was a custom made chicken suit from a, my personal tailor made that for me. And you, you're just embarrassed. You're just can't. You just can't handle that you had to wear the chicken suit because I embarrassed you. And then Bobby Lashley's going to be like, well, if it, you know, uh, why don't I embarrass you right now in the ring? And then Ethan Carter's going to be like, ha, ha, ho, all right, you get him, Max. And then he's going to push MJF in the ring and leave. 
And then okay. uh, Bobby Lashley is going to beat MJF in like three minutes. I love this. I love all of this. Also, I want Brick South Carolina to sell the ripping of the chip chicken suit. Like, it's the most heinous thing he's ever seen. Oh, my God. Oh, the chicken suit. I don't believe it. He's he's going to be our Southern Don West. So he's Jim Ross. <laughs> I mean, he's he is good at announcing and Southern. Yeah. So really, there's that's 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 the direction. Lashley rips the chicken suit. That's all you really need to know about this. Yeah, basically. And then you want a, a squishy squash. Oh yeah, he's gonna poor MJF. Yeah, we did this on a pay per view. We sure did. <laughs> Built Pretty much an, the same result, too. Built an entire month to it, and this one, the build was Lashley ripped a chicken suit, and then Ethan well, pulled Well, no, because so we, we already know the result of what happens if MJF wrestles Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley kills him. <laughs> yep. So we don't, you know what I mean? Like, we don't have to. We don't we need, need to run to that back. Anymore. Yeah. That chicken suit was worth a fortune. I mean, Ethan Carter paid to have it custom tailored. All right, now we should we should probably put some kind of match between those two big promos. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What, what did we, we do got? with Rosemary last week? She turned on Hojo. She did. So we should do something with that, but that wouldn't be a match. No. <laughs> So, I mean, it could be. She could just, like, squash somebody. Uh, I, do, I feel I, like not yet. Okay. There should be, like, a vignette or something. Um. How about... Okay, I see on the notepad we still have tornadoes against the luchas, but we change that to Joey and Paul, right? Yeah. All right, let's just have Joey and Paul win a match. Who who could Joey and Paul beat? We don't have them as a uh, team. Well, last week they beat right. the Tornadoes. Yep. So they, I mean, they could take on the Gorillas. They there's always Dan Barry and Bill Carr. Uh, Orange Juice. There. Oh, I I personally love this idea here. I want him. I want this match. Okay. In real life. This, I'm just going to throw this out there right now. This isn't going to be good. It's good in my heart. Okay. And Orange Cassidy, like, has to lose. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Joey wins. I mean, we've been building Orange for a while. He could give some of that overness to Joey. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I would like, after that match, for, like, Joey and Paul to have the the eh no because Paul's a face never mind I was gonna have them do like the over the top celebration but Paul Paul's still a decent dude so they don't have to they could just kind of well to... I mean it could be like Paul trying to be like yeah hey, we did it all right and then Joey's just like mm -hmm, leave me alone yeah go away dad that kind of thing yeah like Paul comes up and is literally just being like you did it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Joey, like, oh, moving his shoulders. Oh. Paul, you're embarrassing me. It's Stop. Okay. I know I won. I, I, I know. I, I saw. I was there. All right. Need at least a mid Carter in every segment, or you just get half the rating. Ooh, yeah. Well, it is what it is. Orange Cassidy is very important to my personal well being. Okay. <laughs> uh, we should do something with uh, Flair and Kaylee Ray. What did we do with them last week? Mm. I think, like, Ashley just came out and beat her up or something. We do anything? 
We had to have done something. Did we? Did we just do exactly nothing? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did something. Mm, I'm, I'm showing we did nothing. Uh, the history is showing that we have done nothing. Well, then we should do something. We absolutely should do a thing. Hey, remember yeah. they went to a double DQ? They sure did. Yeah. Um, we haven't been in Sting's office in a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what I just imagined in my head is that we cut to Sting's office and the door flies open and they're still fighting each other. Book it. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later. Two weeks later. Like, they're just... Sting, yeah. Sting's like, you need to stop. You've been fighting yeah. on the okay, plane okay. rides. I had enough, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. You know what? They, well, how, well, let's settle this once and for all, because the two of you at... What's our next pay-per-view? Uh, Genesis. Genesis. At Genesis, are going to have a uh, match. A last woman standing match. Uh... A... Uh, submission match because that makes that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, uh, why, falls why count we... anywhere match because you've been brawling. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Book we it. got there. <laughs> not flare, flare. Well, no, I, I'm not going to do an Ashley promo because she's fighting. I am fighting. <laughs> it's TWF falls kind of eh, just like a normal brawl. Hiya, take that. How do you like being hit by the queen? I'm genetically <laughs> superior. <sighs> Tara's really big on the ladder match. He wants a ladder match. I, I mean, would that be good with Ashley I mean, and Kaylee Ray? If you can, if you can do a uh, a figure eight on a ladder, then yes. I'm just saying, like, if we put them in a ladder match, is the game just gonna be like, no, they can't do that? Yeah, I think a ladder match is a normal match. Okay. In game, um, I don't. So Sting announced the. Feast are fired, but then nothing happened with it? Correct. You want to have some people, like, qualify for it or something? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking we could have some people qualify. We got 30 minutes to go? Yep. Alright. People who need to qualify would be... Well, we have both of CCK in it, so they could win some kind of tag team match. Correct. Yes. All right. I never remember their names, so it's easier to just go here. Who should yep. they beat? Um, I mean... I don't want them to beat the Lucha Bros. That'd be weird. So really, the only other team that makes sense that would even be in contention for this is uh, the Big Dog and the Big Bird. Yep. And Although, long... the, the Big the big Bird is eventually going to end up in the match, right? So that's kind of weird. Yeah, we'll do... So we'll do a bunch of these, and then we'll do, like, at the end, we'll do a second chance match for all the okay, people who lost, sure. and then big, big Bird wins that. Okay. How are we going to do Feast or Fired? I don't think we've thought that far ahead. <laughs> uh, I was just going to... Uh, well, how many people do we have in it? Six? I was just going to book a six-way match with the winner. And yeah. then afterwards do a segment where we're like, these are the people that got the briefcases! Yeah. Here's who won. Here's who got yeah. the briefcases. The winner was the one who got the right briefcase. Yeah. The person who's getting the world title shot was the one that won. All right. So that's good. That's good. Um, who do we have left? We got to do something with the Lucha Bros. Okay, so we got to do something with the Lucha Bros. Um... They're going to end up. Uh... Hmm. So we this... also have Will Ospreay and ACH, who we set up for a next division title match by ACH beating Will Ospreay in a video game. 
Right. Right. Why is Pentagon Jr. a mid Carter? I don't know. That's weird. She really gets some wins. Yeah. Uh, boy, this sounds like a job for, uh... Does Eddie Edwards have any friends after he turned? Or no? No, not really. Oof. Eddie could just, like, qualify for Feast or Fired. Uh, Eddie could. Or we could could do Lucha Bros first. I mean, no. That would be dumb. I'm dumb. Eddie does not team with Davey. No. Does Eddie fight Davey? No, because Davey's also in this match. Um, does Eddie fight Tracy Williams? Oh, he sure does. He <laughs> sure does. All right. So now we need angles. Because we have three matches at the top. All right. Uh, I got Rose yep, Mary. I, yep. I'm on it. It's going to cut her Y, Rosemary Y promo. Yeah, so she's she's going to be in the back in, in a spooky room. Um, <laughs> I like how we just have like a designated spooky room in our yeah, backstage. There's, there's spider webs. There's mm-hmm. a jack-o'-lantern. There's... Like that light that's just like a light bulb and it, it's like flickering sometimes. I don't, I don't know. If you've been in a basement, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Rosemary's there. And I believe before before I get too far, she, her, she's turning because uh, all the new people came and she got tired of it. Yes. Yeah. No? I mean, look, she can turn for whatever reason you want, Nick, but that's kind of what we were going yeah. with. I just wanted to make sure before I, I went off, and she's she's talking about how you know all all of these newcomers came in, and you know, slowly but surely everyone stopped looking at Rosemary, and everyone stopped looking at Rosemary, and Rosemary started sinking deeper and deeper into the darkness, and as the darkness embraced her, she realized she liked it there, and she's gonna be staying in the darkness, and she's going to be bringing the darkness with her when she comes back to the impact zone next week and that's the promo okay also we all know the real reason this is happening is because ally has gone yeah i i want when ally gets back her to come back and be like what happened and rosemary's like so, <laughs> sorry sorry and she just turns face again no, Allie's going to come back with her baby, and then uh, Rosemary's going to be like, I'm evil now! You don't understand. Oh, look at the baby! <laughs> I can be evil later. Look at the baby! <laughs> okay. Uh, who else needs to be booked? Does Brody Lee need to be booked, even though he's running in on that match? Nah, he's he's yeah. running in. All right. uh, Will Ospreay needs to be booked for faux show. Sure. Yeah. And probably with ACH. What if they had possibly? Video... What if they played video games again? <laughs> Are we just copying up, up, down, down, but with Will Ospreay, and, uh, ACH? I mean, you said we don't need matches, and like, what? What? You just want to have them talk to like normal people? That's weird. Okay. So they're playing Fire Pro again. Uh, I believe they were playing Smash last time. Or Smash. You were right. They were edge guarding. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who can they beat in Smash? All right. This week they come back, and uh, Will Ospreay's like, all right, look, I told you I'd give you a title shot, but uh, I want you again. This time, double or nothing. And then ACH is like, what is it? I got a title shot. What does double or nothing even mean? Uh, uh, two title shots. <laughs> two title shots. <laughs> She's like, I don't. I don't need, I'm only going to need the one. And he's like, look, just, just play me Smash again. That, Fight me one-on-one, uh, one, you uh, won't. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, just play me a Smash again! I see it, you coward! I've been practicing all week, but I'm going to smoke you! 1v1 Final Destination! And then uh, ACH is going to just absolutely destroy him again. Uh, but this time, uh, Will Ospreay is going to get irrationally upset about it. And, uh, like, 
He's going to take the GameCube controller and smash it on the ground after he loses, like a real sore sport. Uh, basically, I want Will Ospreay to be like your, your prototypical angry gamer. I thought he was going to smash the GameCube controller into ACH's head. He could do that. Just like lays him out. But I, I, it's weird, though, because they're both baby faces. So I think it's more just like, yeah, he takes the controller and spikes it. And he's like, ah, hacks! <clears throat> Excuse me. Hacks! You cheat out! What are you doing? That's just Jim Cornette. <laughs> he could do what my friend did and just open the window and throw the controller out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend did that? Yes. And then he, <laughs> he like sat there for a minute and he was like, ah, I need to go get that. And like had to go <laughs> downstairs and pick it up out of the yard. I mean, the GameCube has a handle. He could take the whole oh, thing. <laughs> it was a 64 controller. That thing has weight to it as well. Yeah. It hit a tree and the tree got hurt. Uh, uh, this is a, this is the same kid that had the had a scar that was like the shape of the Nintendo circle from the N sixty four controller because he hit himself in the head with it because he was mad. Yeah, I want Will Ospreay to be that guy. Yeah. Which I also feel like isn't far off. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's how Will Ospreay would get when he plays video games. All right. And the he, whole time, the whole time, Will Osprey is uh, like freaking out and having a, uh, just like having this like temper tantrum. I want ACH to be like deadpan, staring into the camera, like Jim in the office. Yeah, like that slow turn. Look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is perfect. These shows used to be like kind of serious. That uh, is a serious <laughs> show. I'm I'm booking then, Penta and Phoenix. Okay, and then and then the chicken soup match happened, and now all bets are off. Yeah, I mean, hey, you want to see who's loco in SoCal? Sure. Everyone apparently. Ken Shamrock. Ricky Mandel. Austin Aries still. It means no one signed him. Rikishi. The Godfather. Uh, I believe you mean Junior Fatu. Uh, this says Rikishi, sir. That this must T be his this legal name. This is TNA. It's Junior Fatu. Ugh. Rikishi and the Godfather would be a great team for the Lucha Brothers to beat. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> 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 I have no answer to this question. <laughs> uh, all right, so it just needs to be a squash then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have plenty of people they could beat. Yeah, who are our James? J Brones. Oh, I mean, could... Tonga and Tamaroa are on the J Brown level apparently. Well, boy, we were gonna. They were gonna get. Remember when they Lemon Juice got put cut, and we were like, oh yeah, we're gonna bring these guys in and push them, and we've done nothing with any of them. I have built a, a legacy around Orange Juice. I will have you know. Okay. Uh, Pentagon needs the win because he's a mid carder for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this isn't a title shot. We need a storytelling oh, match. R Raven of the Black in the chat asks if Will Osprey and ACH are going to have a strap match where the strap is just like two controllers tied together. Oh, no, it's going to be Ultimate X, but the ch the cables are just <laughs> controllers. That's not going to work at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. This is better than my cardboard Hell in a Cell idea that I once did. Um, uh, what, what's the storytelling match here? Joey and, Joey and, pa and Paul? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're telling stories, brother. What a show. I'm a little nervous about this one. <laughs> Uh, hold on. I gotta put something at the back end here. Okay. It's Brody. He beats up, uh... He beats up his... his Keith Lee. That's our back end segment? Uh... You wanna do an everyone comes out segment? There's a big brawl? I have a better idea. 
after the oh after the I catch, f- I have an after idea this match yeah what backstage where Ethan Carter is like frantically trying to sew a chicken suit back together yes. okay so we have the same idea great yeah. and just going like Bobby Lashley Lashley <laughs> yells over dead body of chicken suit. Yeah, because like if we're nervous about this rating and we want something to do good, we we gotta cut to Ethan Carter. Yeah. That's the only solution. I don't think this is gonna get sixty one. I think it is. That's a bet. Juvenile John. Is there anyone we need to put in a what do you call it? Why is Brody Lee saying he hasn't Oh. He did something though. Whatever. Yeah, he he ran in. He should be fine, right? I'm I'm just going to put him in a pre-show match because I'm nervous that the game will be like, running in doesn't count as showing up on the show. That's dumb. There's Trevor. There's Jobber number one. There's Jobber. Uh, James Storm is supposed to be losing to women. Here's Santana. Here's Ortiz. Also, Tara says running in does count, so but whatever, right. we booked it already. Thank you. Thank you, but this did remind me that James Storm is supposed to be losing to women. So James Storm, Kyrie Hojo, mm-hmm. three-minute domination for Hojo. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe she dominates. Not even a complaint. Storm I knows. I, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Boy, he realizes how good his contract is. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Pay me. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ready? Uh, Is there anyone else we should have booked? I mean, a ton of people, but... Yeah, like, we, we didn't do anything with the women's tag, but that's fine. Vipes got me shook with this, this thing that he wrote here about us signing a lot of guys with grand plans and then forgetting about them when we signed the next group of people. Oh, so that's now, what we've... That's what literally always done I, in every save I, yeah i know <laughs> not just saves with you either like everything i've ever done it's just like yep. what's the new shiny yep no storm is in time decline he's just bad he's, he's just he's just not good and we're he has a ridiculous written contract with us that we're trying to get him to quit and he just won't he just won't quit yeah look Kyrie Hojo. he's got a 42 <laughs> That is a lot better than I thought it was going to do. I thought this was going to get like a 20 something. Because I thought he was going to like just be like, whatever, who cares? I feel like I'm the very WWE influence here. Out of, out of. The... I don't know. I booked a, I'm, I'm booking a program where two guys are feuding over Super Smash Brothers. So I don't know. And a chicken suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're carrying it right yeah. now. That is yeah. true. All right, this did fine. This was slightly better than Kyrie Hojo squashing James Storm. See, this did fine. Yeah, yeah. this is fine. We're, We're gonna, gonna be get fine. that. We're gonna get that sixty-one. I I think sixty-five. All right. I retract. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Actually, we knew this. Was, yeah. we knew this was gonna do bad. Orange Cassidy got a thirty. We should really give up on him. But that's <laughs> that's no, <fine. laughs> no. All right. We're going to probably have to, but no. You had Ambrose on an 0 and 240 streak and he wouldn't quit. Meanwhile, we had Ambrose lose one match and he quit. Yeah, when me and you were doing Raw and SmackDown, you you had him lose like a match and he was like, fuck this. And you literally were like, well, is he, he's mad. Is Should we, should we you know, change the finish? Yeah. I was like, nah, he'll be fine. We'll just give him a bonus or something. And then he was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah. Like, oh. This did all right for mid card hey yeah now we're, now we're talking bro yeah you, you all can make fun of the chicken suit as much as you want this is this is killing it and this did all right i think this is about what it did Wait a first minute. time lashley used the ko mm-hmm. the ko <laughs> huh yeah he just punched him to death 
Whoa! I didn't see this coming. I didn't either, and this was 100% on the Lucha Bros. Like, I don't know, maybe Gorillas have a really high uh, like teamwork thing or whatever. They do, I'm sure. I think this, I, th- I think good. Maybe yeah. the Gorillas of Destiny might get a title shot eventually. Maybe. This is good. <laughs> They've been brawling for literal weeks. I, I also booked this, so yep. I'm, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> this did all right. I'm a little disappointed by this. This, this also a very tag heavy show this week. Yeah, I feel like CCK started hot and is now kind of cooled off into yeah, a little this, bit this range. Hey, Andrew Everett's up into the fifties though. Yeah, remember Andrew Everett getting like twenties? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, we should early him, uh, early part of the save was real bad. Maybe we should look at him and uh, and Will or him and ACH, I guess. Whoa! Yeah, we always forget that Rosemary is really good at talking. Shit, okay. Guess who I became mean, she, Bray Wyatt? Spooky she never got a 72 week. when we were booking her as champion. I think she did with Ashley a couple of times. But Maybe. we probably attributed that to... Ashley. Ashley. Yeah, yeah Rosemary's good. Yep. Now that she's Hollywood Rosemary, it's even better. Nice. Yeah, not bad hey, at all. Carrying the shit out of Tracy Williams. We're actually doing real, real good. Yeah, this show's gonna crush a 61. Look at this. Look at this. Hell yeah. They're gonna play Smash every week, and then Rosemary's gonna cut spoofy promos. People are gonna tune in in while droves. They, while they play Smash. Just behind In the background. Her. Yeah. She cuts spooky promos on their Smash playing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Lee and Hager kind of pulled it down, but Shelly's real good. They got a 68. I mean, they got 56 and 57, like, but yeah, a 68. Yeah, let's awesome. a 68. Who cares? Yes. <laughs> Lashley. <laughs> Why? Oh. Yeah. 69. Nice. nice. <laughs> we did it. That show was, that was, wow. One of the best shows we've ever done. Yep. In both score and, and rating. Or score and rating. Okay, Nick. Score and storylines. Ultramanus Black is here. Yes. Oh, James Storm has a booking complaint. (laughs) Maybe he'll quit. (laughs) Oh, you need to book me stronger or I'll be dead in the water. Buddy, you're, kinda... you're so dead, you're swelling up from taking on all the water. You are the water. Yeah. Oh, Matt Hardy's leaving. Hmm. No comment. Hmm. <laughs> Fipes in the chest. Just keep going. Put him in the dress. This is getting weird now, Fipes. Yeah, right. You seem to have a lot. Yeah. Put him in the now. dress. Make him wear lipstick. Make him say he's pretty. <laughs> Uh, have, have him comb his hair real slow, like. I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to check when we're doing Genesis last. last that was last week, right? Yeah. <coughs> yes. What? What did I want to check? I don't know. If this was our best show. Yeah. Rand- I mean, it wasn't, but I don't know. Fr- oh, Randy Orton. I like how y'all are Impact Wrestling. I saw the TNA logo. No, we're TNA. No, we're in bed wrestling. No, we're TNA. <laughs> Nothing to see here. We are TNA. Not total impact wrestling. That's not right. <laughs> you can bark like a dog. <laughs> Hey, we're TNA. See, I told you. The legal name change finally went through. Uh, All right. Randy? Randolph? I mean, we just checked like a couple weeks ago, right? Like, there's no way. Yeah. Randy. Someone said last time if you, like, click his picture, it might tell us when it'll... Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I know what they're talking about. I've never actually done it, so it's not something I know about. 
but I think I know where I where to look for that. I guess I'll check. That guy's name was Kai Katana. Well, I'm assuming he's named himself after the greatest video game of all time, Dai Katana. I don't know if this is a bit or if you actually... I know what Dai Katana is, so don't... I know... I. That was a very niche joke. Okay, so it says here that he's toxic, but it does not say how long. Speaks Lewish English, though. Kenny Omega's available. I think Kenny Omega's been available the whole time. We've just... We have he, standards. We have rules. Alright, we're done with Netflix for now. Alright, that's fine. It's three years toxic, Pop says. Well... I thought it was like six months to a year. <laughs> All right, Randy, enjoy your retirement and your hookers. Yeah. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I think the best thing I saw there is he was still married to someone outside the wrestling industry. Look, you got to stand by your man, you know? It See, it could either be that she stood by the man or he just married one of the hookers. <laughs> it could be. Uh, Brian Look, man, if you're joined if... New Japan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there were New Japan's big... Well, what was the team we had? It was him and uh, Davey Boy Smith. They were the uh, the caged animals, right? Yeah, the caged animals. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they, they also think that's a good idea. If they do it. Oh, Daniel Bryan with hookers. And Generico with hookers. That's uh, a weird timeline. Uh, I mean, you never know what goes on in Mexico, you know? Yeah. Gotta watch out for those orphanages. Oh, that makes that real dark. They're just, uh, they're just, uh, you know, it's the, the money's being used for the hookers instead of oh. the children. You know what? No, there's no I, way I that thought, you could not make this dark. Yeah. No, I was going to say, like, it kind of sounded like you were implying that the orphanages were just like actually brothels <laughs> i was like that's hey. yeah generico <laughs> uh, that's that's no good oh no ishii got a hamstring contusion tyler Bate went to gwf <laughs> I, what is that i don't know what is that picture <laughs> Tyler Bate. Just, That's he, just what he looks like. He he looks like he like is incredibly disappointed in what we're booking. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely judging us. Whoa. All right. That's every TNA wrestler circa like. Uh, that's Scotty kind of Vortex, man. <laughs> he looks like Chris Harris. Uh, Scott of Vortex used to wrestle for IWA Mid South, so uh, Brick, South Carolina, has almost certainly seen him wrestle. Oh, okay. Oh no! Now Luke Gallows got injured, and Cody Rhodes. That's not good. Logan Easton Larue. I know, I know who that is. He uh. He he wrestles in Virginia. He does like a one percent on rich gimmick. I don't I don't know why his last name is Laroe. I don't know. You'd have to ask Skiff. Skiff would know. Well, you like the sound of it. <laughs> when are we bringing in Braden Walker? Oh, James Storm got in shape. Weird. Good. Now he'll look better losing to Hojo. Yeah, I thought for sure it was going to be like, James Storm is fat now. <laughs> oh, Kenny signed up. Back to New Japan. That's fine. <laughs> Raven Black is just dropping the... Uh glow rap for randy orton in, in chat here 
The big guy is the Lucha Underground champion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Swarly. Nick. Is it time to sign the big guy? <laughs> no, it is never time. <laughs> it's so good, though. He's ob- I mean, everywhere he goes, he's a champion. <laughs> Wake up! Uh, uh, good. That's only their, like, third worst champion they've had. Uh, Oh, hey. Oh, hi, David Starr. Funny seeing you here. Oh, he turned up late. Probably forgot he was in this company. <laughs> <laughs> I I really want to just be like, eh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Oh, no, he got worse. Uh, whatever. Hojo actually won a video game tournament. See that, I believe. Yeah. She's like, well, I mean, if we have Smash backstage anyway. Yeah. <laughs> she wins the video game tournament and then Will Ospreay oh god damn it <laughs> hey we're, we're not rolling right now Will I know we're not rolling <laughs> you think I'm an idiot okay so question yes Nick are we booking a segment where Hojo beats ACH and Osprey at Smash no oh we would be shooting, brother. Uh, yeah, and exactly. We don't. We don't need to be shooting. Okay. See, Tara says it should make TV too. Uh... And whole joke is the X Division title shot now. <laughs> she did beat James Storm too. She's on a roll. Uh, she's supposed to be in a serious feud with Rosemary. Oh, Rosemary could crawl out of the TV. Be terrific. Rosemary could. She could crawl out of the TV. Uh, Rosemary's not crawling out. Oh, you crawled out of the GameCube. <laughs> All right. Uh, how are we starting this show? Man, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Brick, South Carolina. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, you should uh, get rid of Borash on the commentary and make it just Brick and uh, Manus. We can we still do that? Are we, yeah. are we good? Look at them. <laughs> Get out of here, Borash. Oh, Jeremy. We don't need you here, no mo. Where's none? Am I? I am blind. Okay. Yep. They have no experience together, so it might be rough for like a few weeks. That's fine. They'll figure it out. The two best commentators in the world will figure it out. Literally, the two best commentators in the world. That is not a that is not an over exaggeration. Um. All right, what's our main event tonight? All right, so who did, who qualified for Feast or Fired? We got CCK in there. Yep. We got Eddie Edwards. Eddie Edwards. So we still need to get Davey Richards and two other people. And Hagger. Wait. And are we putting Hagger in that match? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Braxton Sutter, who's apparently winning some kind of bullshit last-minute battle royal thing. Okay, and then we need one other person, I think. No, that's it. Five. Banks Edwards. I'm I'm just looking at the thing. Oh We've no, yeah, down. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I didn't count one member of CCK. Okay, I counted them as CCK one entity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Hagger. So Hagger needs to beat someone. Uh huh. Who can Hagger beat? I don't know. Let's look at our roster. Little okay. man. Okay, also, like, Lashley and Ethan Carter, I feel like one of them could lose by the other getting screwed over because, like, they should want to be in that match, right? Yeah, Lashley, at the very least. Like, Carter being like, no, we're not done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the. Oh, does that mean you're putting Hagger over? We I, look. I'll put I'll put Hagger over Bobby Lashley. That's not our main event, but I'll put Hagger over Bobby Lashley. I, I kind of want to see how Davy Richards and Bobby Lashley do. 
as a main event. That's face face match though. I mean, all of them except for Hager. Like, yeah, that's why you put Hager with Bobby Lashley. Oh, we're doing Hager and Bobby Lashley. I'm not saying it's our main event, but we should. No, nope, we should book. Hager but and Bobby I'm booking a Hag rag. All right. Hag rag. Special guest. Ethan Carter. Ethan. It's four minutes of breaking down the film of Bobby Lashley in a chicken soup. Here you can see Bobby Lashley is actually a chicken. Here you can see we knocked out Bobby Lashley, showing that we are superior. Here you can see Bobby Lashley ripping a... Do we have a price tag on this chicken soup? (laughs) $5,000! Ripping a $5,000 chicken suit. And then Lashley's gonna gonna come out. Mm Mm-hmm. Be like, what is wrong with you? (laughs) Just, you paid $5,000 for a chicken suit. I bought a chicken suit for $5. And then they're gonna be bickering, and then Hacker's gonna come in and be like, oh, hold on a second, they're buying Lashley. Me and you got a feast or famine qualifying match tonight. And then Bobby Lashley would be like, whatever, man. <laughs> He'd be like, wait, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, I guess it would probably make more sense if we kept, we could keep the tradition going of uh, guests on the Hag Greg getting hit on the head with a <laughs> novelty coffee mug. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So and then after to... he's laid him out with the coffee mug, he'll be like, I'll see you in the ring. Oh. And uh, Ethan lays the ripped uh, chicken suit over Lashley like a flag. <laughs> <laughs> and breaks out of that Carolina. He laid the flag on him. He laid the flag on him. He laid the flag on the cowboy. <laughs> That's another very niche joke. I'm just, I'm just digging deeper into a hole here. You just you're 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 showing off your range of yeah, thank of you references range of references. It's my indie pop band. Um, Lashley comes out arguing. Nope, just Lashley. Yeah, comes I, out. I make I make all these jokes for vibes. He's the only one that gets them. Really, audience of one. Also, my <laughs> indie pop band. <laughs> All right, I should probably put people in this. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Hager, uh, Ethan, Maxwell. No, he's dead. <laughs> oh, okay, Lashley. Actually, you know what? You know what? he could be there because then he'll at least get on the show. He won't complain about it. Also, he could just be wearing like a cast again. Yeah, yeah, he's just like they're sitting on some like shitty broken in sofa next to his like crappy falling apart desk and he the whole time he's just like got his head against the cushion looking at the ceiling like <laughs> ah like holding his arm or something has an ice pack on his head still yeah, just like oh there you go. all right great is that how we're starting the show cold yeah why hag- not cold why not? open hag rag like yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of getting the usual like impact opening, it's just like the lights turn on. And it's like, I'm Jake Hager. This is the Hagrag. <laughs> Does like the the I'm thinking of a like the Colbert Report open with just like mm-hmm. eagles flying everywhere and stuff. Yeah. yeah, for sure, definitely. Oh boy, we need to actually book a wrestling show now. <laughs> All right, well, look, we we want to just do Lashley and Hager now. Sure. Hopefully they can go 16. Yeah, why wouldn't they? Yeah, Swarley is secretly the next Vince Russo. Yeah, I mean, that's it, that's what. See, I only book with people who book like this. Vince, yeah. Swarley, that's really it. I don't. I mean, is it even a secret at this point, honestly? Yeah, right. Oh, there he is. I can't believe we're putting Jake Hager over Bobby Lashley. I, 
Ethan Carter's interfering. I understand we're telling a story, but... <laughs> we're telling a story, bro. I get it. When did I become the voice of reason? I don't know. <laughs> Doing TNA too long broke my brain, I think. Uh, um, should we also have Braxton win a match on this show? No, he has to do it next week because that's then we'll have all the losers. Right, Braxton's doing that one. So, oh, yeah. Lashley has to be in that match as well. He sure does. Shit. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have to. We can come up with some bullshit. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Um, uh, we, Richards needs to. Yeah, Richards maybe. could beat uh, Laredo Man or Matt Seidel or both. They could have a triple threat match. That'd be fun. Oh. Davey Richards, Laredo Man, and Matt Seidel. Yeah, why not? That is a fun match. Not you. Man, that Davy picture. Ah. Want to tell them to uh, go all out? Yeah, I was just about to. Go steal this show. Do flips. Go crazy. Do Davy things. Yeah, that's the problem, really. I got no Tatanka, so how am I supposed to book anything? You got Rosemary now, though. Shit, you're right. Okay, so. Rosemary. Definitely. So, we definitely need to have Hojo win a match here. Yes, I agree. Um, Who can Hojo beat? I am... So... I'm okay with this being Mia Yim if it needs to be. Um, I think we could get a two for here if we put Madison in here. What if we did a six woman tag? Uh... Hojo and the anime friends against the mean ladies and Mia Yim. Okay. I am not at all opposed to this. Okay. Then we're uh, really killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. So da da da, da. Tessa Te- Tessa Madison. <laughs> Mia Yim is the female Caleb Conley. That's the meanest thing anyone's ever said about Mia Yim. Yeah. Ooh. Now I feel bad. Why y'all always be me? Because she's a heel and all our other heels are doing stuff. We need a we need a job or heel. So we actually need more anything. women. We've really. said that like five times. This is the well, most especially now that we have ever. tag titles, we really need more women. Yes, we do. We'll go hunting after this show. Okay. If you have suggestions for women, uh, I mean, wait until after the show and then let us know, because I'll forget if you don't. I mean, actually, step one of the, your plan should be remind us to sign women, and then step two of your plan is make suggestions. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, Swarley, guess what? Uh, the lights go out. The lights go out. Oh, my God. And then everyone's gone except for Kyrie Hojo. You had Hojo win that match, right? Yep. Over me and you. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Kyrie Hojo and Rosemary, who is standing behind Hojo, with a barbed wire baseball bat. Nope. Yep, barbed wire baseball bat. Okay. Question. Yes. What was Janice? I think it was like a board with nails in it. Not that then. Okay. Was it like a two by four with nails in it, or was yeah, it? I think yeah, like a like a piece of wood with nails in it. All right, we'll go with that because. You was... remember that uh, that Simpsons episode where they get rid of weapons and then uh, the aliens invade and then Mo fights them off with a board with some nails in it? Yeah, it was that. All right. Uh, Rosemary was in a team with Abyss for like a minute, right? Yeah. Uh, More than God, a minute, what was, right? What was the name of that group? The uh, Yeah, it was her, Abyss, and Crazy Steve, right? Yes, I believe so. And so she's, she's coming out with the, the Janice gimmick. Um, she spins Hojo around, lifts it up over her head. And then just, like, 
does like the crooked smile and then the lights go back out and then they come back up and hojo is alone in the ring not not attacked at all just just the mind games I was. I thought you were gonna be like, "Let's go out," and we hear like a blood curdling scream. You gotta build to that. You can't right, just okay. give it away week one, bro. You, can't you can murder absolutely people give it week away one. week one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you always gotta have the most interesting story. That we'll figure it out next week, bro. Yeah, no, that's fine. We'll figure out. Hold just dead. We'll figure out what we're doing at the pay per view. Yeah. Hojo is a scurred, by the way. She's what? She's scurred. Oh, okay. I mean, I figured. For now. Yeah, she'll... she'll. I mean, she wasn't expecting it. Uh, like, like, we had promos of Rosemary from a spooky room. Can we have uh, promos of, like, uh, Hojo on a fucking, like, pirate ship? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, a happy room. Like, <laughs> the opposite of a spooky room. <laughs> yeah, it's just... A really bright room with a bunch of like beanbag chairs in yeah. it and like yeah, cake and stuff. Uh, I mean I like the pirate ship <laughs> better. Two things I went to for happy. Beanbag chairs and cake. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um <laughs> Is Will Ospreay going to play Smash or is he gonna wrestle this week? So I don't know, what do you think, chat? You want Will Ospreay to play Smash again or do you I'm want to play Prospect? I'm wrestling? sorry. All right. Six man tag. All right, fine. Will Osprey? Or sorry, I just want I wanted to be known that I will, I value what the chat thinks, but Nick doesn't care. Don't you turn my own chat? <laughs> <against me. laughs> I'm booking the the best gamer bro team of Will Osprey, Joey Janela, and Paul London. Oh, that's yeah, that's a gamer bro team. All right. I would like either Janela or London to pin Pentagon or Phoenix. Well, good luck. Okay. As long as you're not complaining about it, I'm going to see what I can do. Paul London's more over. Uh, Pentagon? He should be, yeah, he should be able to pin Pentagon. Pentagon's only a mid-carder. All right. <laughs> now we've set up the title match. Hey, what's our main event? I think it it has to be Jake Hager and Lashley. Like, (laughs) we gave them main event time. Good. I think good. Uh, We, I mean, we need to do something with Shelly and Desmond. Yeah, sure. Um, Bro, are you ready for a good old fashioned contract signing, bro? Sure. Sting moderates contract signing. All right, so we got Alex Shelley. He's going to talk. We got Desmond Xavier. It's because check, and I'll book him. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Terror. We're going to see, I think, two weeks. I should be able to start doing that stuff. So we shall see soon. And Stang. Yeah, Stang has to be there. I write S-T-A every time. But luckily Sting still shows up. <laughs> we could just change his name to Stang for no Although now it makes sense now that Brick South Carolina is our commentary. He definitely says Stang. Oh, yeah, like the music oh, hits. Stang. And just, Stang! Yeah. Stang! Hey, it's Stang! Hey, y'all, it's Stang. That's actually where that comes from. I think uh, Freight Train used to say that. And he... Brick South Carolina is basically the freight train. <laughs> He's the brick. Brick, hey, South Carolina. Hey, brick South Carolina. It's staying. <laughs> okay. Do you have any promo material for Shelly and Xavier? Or just go out and sign a contract? Uh, Desmond Xavier, uh, it's time for the new guard. Blah, blah, blah. You're old. Alex Shelly, I'm not old. I'm still good. And Sting's just saying, they're like, mm, yes, I, mm, I agree. And then uh, Desmond Xavier is going to try to attack Alex Shelley, but Alex Shelley is a cutting veteran, and he sees it coming. Ooh. And he doesn't go through the table. 
And like Xavier sneaks out. Like Shelly goes to do what? Does Shelly do a move that can go through a table? You can do like a slice bread through a table. All right, so he goes to set him up to do a move through the. You table. could do an you could do an air raid crash through a table if you stand on top of it. Ah, that's that doesn't. I mean, maybe Xavier sneaks out the back as well. We'll say all right. He slips out and then like just like backs up off backs up the ramp. Ooh, that was harder to say than I thought it would be. And Shelly's doing like doing the like yeah come here come on, fight me. And then yep yeah, that that's the end of it. All right. That's a contract signing where no one went through a table. Ultra Mantis Black is pissed. <laughs> All right, we need more angles. Okay. Uh, fuck, I had a really bad idea. I'm listening. All right. We're going to go on location. To, I'm listening <laughs> to the Lee family compound. <laughs> so, so a trailer park. It is, yeah. <laughs> and there's Brody Lee and Trevor Lee with a bunch of extras that we hired as well. Mm-hmm. Other other white guys with beards. Yeah, skinny or or larger, just redneck looking. E- either very skinny or very yeah. fat. Correct. No way in between. Just yeah. very skinny or very, very large. Uh, and they, they're they holding a meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. They're holding a leading. And um, they are discussing the uh, traitor to their kind, Keith Lee, and what, what needs to be done with them. And uh, Nick, you, you really got to toe the line with this segment. They, they sentence him to be removed by Brody Lee. <laughs> Nick, you really got to toe the line with this segment. And Brody just, it's... it like zooms in on Brody's face with the, the crazy eyes going like, yep, yep, yep. And that, that's it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a little nervous <laughs> that our viewers might find this segment to be racially motivated what if we had a black guy in there as well <laughs> okay <laughs> sure good yeah this, this is our third cousin yeah this is Lee Lee uh, oh wait Keith Lee is off screen but talked about Oh, they all wearing MAGA hats. I said we have to toe the yeah. line. <laughs> that is not towing the line. Also, when I said, like, Lee Family Compound, I was just imagining, like, TNA found where WWE booked the Wyatt Family Compound and just, like, was like, yeah, we'll use that. Sure. that That's good enough. Trevor Lee just lives in Matt Hardy's garage. Don't give me I'm ideas. Gonna... Matt Hardy's available. Oh, God. Uh, what else do we have? Ashley and Kaylee. Yes. Absolutely need to do something with them. Yes. Uh, I have no idea what, though. Well, we've set up the match. They're going to have a false Count Anywhere match. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be their big blow-off. I have an idea. Okay. And it's not Dragonly perfect. He's there as well. Somehow. It is just a random guy in a dragon mask. Yeah. That's Dragon Lee. Um, so, Borash is backstage. All right, we have a backstage interviewer now. Interviewing Kaylee Ray. Also, we need to fire Rich Brennan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we might get a B show never, so. No, that's never happening. Kaylee Ray's cutting a promo. Doing the, you know, like, I'm the champion, I'm undefeated. Mm-hmm. You know, Ashley's just, you know, she's, she is jealous that... Her... I, I think this is a little too nice of a promo at this point. This is like, like, it's heated now. She's like, I'm, I'm sick of Ashley. She thinks she's better than me just because she, she came from a, uh, you know, from a, a, a wrestling royalty family. And she used to work in the other company up north. 
But I've proven time and time again that I could beat her. I think she and could then... even say her dad got her a job up north. Yeah, yeah. Taking taking shots. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of, some of those shots are a little cutting. Some of the, some of those shots may cause Ashley to bum rush Kaylee Ray and start laying into her mid interview. Okay. Sure. Um, and uh, I think Ashley is going to hit a spear through a bunch of metal poles that were just, you know, there, sitting. And there's a bunch a, of car- a bunch of empty cardboard boxes. Yeah, I I like the the poles because it makes all the noise, but uh-huh. it could be both. Why not? Hey, hey, we put a sheet over the boxes so it looks less rinky dink. Yeah, and then then boom, Kaylee Ray's laid out and Flair walks away. Having successfully bum rushed her. Shane Helms is also at the Lee compound for sure. Absolutely. Just trying to fit in. <laughs> like Shane Helms or Hurricane? Shane Helms. Okay. In his three count attire. <laughs> sugar Sugar Shane Helms. Shane Helms, like, circa 2006 Cruiserweight Champion Shane Helms? No, 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 like, circa 2000. Okay. What a show this... How did we get weirder? Uh, I I think this is less weird than last week, honestly. CCK and Braxton Sutter need to do things. Uh Uh-huh. Eddie Edwards needs to do a thing. Uh Uh-huh. Juice Robinson can do a thing. You thinking a six man tag? I think CCK could cut a promo. Oh, okay. All right. What do you got? I'm just like we're both in feast or fired. What does you know? It's every man for themselves, but we're gonna work together and make sure at least one of us gets one of those stupid briefcases. And uh, hopefully, we'll get a tag title shot. But if not, that's cool too. I I like the idea of. The two of them, like, at first being like, how, like, they're looking over the rules, just being like, so, like, there's four briefcases that we can, and three of them are good. I don't, like, there's an X, so what happens if, like, Braxton Sutter wins the X Division title, though? What, yeah, he gets an X Division title shot. It's so hard no, to understand. <laughs> I love that, like, Travis Banks is the one saying that, like, yeah, yeah no, he, he would get well, that. Man, fuck, fucking Abyss has been the exhibition champion. Anything can happen. It's not a, It's not about weight limits. It's about no limits. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Jeremy Borash is there to explain all those things. He's like Mr. TNA. He's the one saying it's not about weight limits. No yeah. limits. Perfect. And, like, and then, yeah, shut up, Borash. Yeah. He just pops out and says that. <laughs> like, <shut laughs> yeah. Up. He's not even interviewing them. He just fucking bugs his head around the corner. <laughs> well, actually, Abyss was the champion one time. It's not about... And they just throw a tomato at him. I don't know where they got a tomato. They don't know where they got a tomato. No. When it happened. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Still need to do something with Braxton and Eddie. Yes, I have an idea. Okay. It's just a tag match. Okay. And I'm kind of testing things. Okay. All right, so it would be Braxton and his friend Andrew. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Eddie Edwards. And I would like to put Shane Strickland here. Are you okay with that? I guess. Uh, based on our, I, I would think David Starr would be good for this, but he's a face, which is weird. Yeah, so we can, would have to turn him first. But We don't have to turn him. We could just put him in this match and then turn him at a later point if we are I mean, going to do something. I mean, we can make this a dark match if we have to. Yeah. It's a test. It's a test. Eddie Edwards and David Starr, the uh, the the Wolf Stars, the 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 hmm, Ed Stars, the Ed Stars. 
Is that yeah. what you just said? <laughs> he always doesn't have any nicknames. His name is just Ed over and over again. <laughs> Ed, Ed and Davy Star. <laughs> I mean, Davy Star has uh, 57 nicknames. We'll, we'll ham-fistedly make one of them work. All right. We still need three minutes. Okay. Well, who else do we got? Do we want to do... Uh, uh, since, since the, uh, the other Lees are, uh, on location, how about Keith Lee just, like, kill somebody? Uh, you want to give him, like, a, a squash match or, like, yeah, a squash match. Yeah, have him, yeah, just have him kill Why somebody. Not? Who gets murdered? Caleb Caleb Conley. Conley. Oh, it's been so long. How's, how's it going, Caleb? It's been a while. Uh, sorry that this is how you had to come back, but yeah. I mean, to be fair, he was the Dragon Lee on that in the segment later in the show. <laughs> he was not. <laughs> you take that back. You're right. He doesn't have a beard. I mean, he kind of—he's got like a little. That ain't a beard enough to be in the Lee family. <laughs> That's true. This right here is uh, metrosexual Lee. We don't—we don't talk about him. Ooh. This is a big mama Lee, and it's just a lady with a beard. <laughs> I see the Lee second from the top. Is that a good idea? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it is not. Thank you, Jay Ball. Uh, contract signing would be second from the top. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hag rag opener. Mm-hmm. Match. Rosemary. Mm-hmm. Leading. Keith Lee. Uh huh. Davy. Uh-huh. Kaylee Ray, CCK. All right, I like this. Uh, so what's our storytelling match? Tara said it should be the main event. You think so, Tara? That's what Tara said. Do we give him enough time to tell a story? Eighteen minutes? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I I legitimately don't remember how long we gave them. So seeing David Starr made me realize something. Was that something that we signed David Starr? Do they have the psych? Nope. Nope. So are they not doing it then? Uh, they're, they're saying... Uh, I'm going to type it in. 62 and 69. Nice. I don't, I don't think they have it. Tara's saying yep, yeah, but I don't know if he was saying that in response to me. Honestly... I think I think Terror's sabotaging because he said he was a better booker. Oh, okay. That's not true. Terra is a nice person and I will not besmirch his character like that. Yes, he's a besmirch. I try. I was enrolled in college. And look at me now. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did it with the uh, women's six man. They're telling a story there. One, two sides f- feuding over anime forever. Yes, and also a title <laughs> for like belt, a year now. Yeah, really anime. It's Frick, South Carolina feuding with Denver, Colorado. No, <laughs> I'm gonna just give a firm and no on that. Yeah, Brick's not an actual location, so nah. Yeah. Although, what if he's <laughs> He's not feuding with Denver, Colorado, the man, but he is feuding with Denver, Colorado, the place. Yeah, he's feuding with Denver, Colorado, the place, not the man. <laughs> man, y'all ever been to Denver, Colorado? Shit's crazy up there, man. man you know weed's legal up there? Man, what? That's wild. It's I, it's a mile above sea level. Man, I walk around there for five minutes. I can barely breathe and some, some guy blew weed smoke in my face. Well, I gotta get out of there, man. I don't like Denver. <laughs> And uh, I, I don't know whose voice that was, but <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's me, Ultraman is perfect. Eddie Edwards and David Starr have excellent chemistry teaming together. Yes, like I said, <laughs> the Ed Stars <laughs> the Ed are born. Star. Fuck. Uh, 
we need to we need to figure a name out the new new wolves uh hagrag did uh eh. did good yeah probably shouldn't have let maxwell talk but oh yeah i thought he was just gonna be there yeah my bad no i just yeah. gave everyone entertainment not thinking okay it went okay it's fine it's fine this did all right this is fine tessa is the worst person in this match yeah i know but she's getting there madison eagles still hates anime <laughs> always will hmm. this did much worse than rosemary just talking on her own oh because it was overness Oh, Rosemary oh, didn't that talk. Was, that was silly. Well, she'll be talking forever and ever now. Yeah. Don't, we done goofed on that one. The leading. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Keith Lee will That's... be over someday. Someday. I mean, 53 is a lot better than yeah. it used to be. It's yeah, no Laredo man who we did not push at all and somehow still. <laughs> yeah, he's just real good. Yeah. Also, Laredo man was the weak link in this match, though. Richards, though. Yeah, he's good. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Jeremy Borash. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there he is. And Jeremy Borash again. Oh, I, I did good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just walked back on frame, like, yeah, from one set to the other. Like, hey guys, did you know? Abyss so was... you know, huh? Okay, that's that's uh, better than I thought it was gonna be. I really <laughs> thought, okay. I thought Paul and Joey were gonna bomb this. Joey's like, not good. They yeah. got a fifty-one here. That's not bad. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'll take this. There's some Stang. There's some Desmond Xavier and Alex Shelley. De Shelley and Desmond might be, like, <gasps> real good. Uh-oh. All right. So they just don't click. Okay. So we just got unlucky. Yeah, that sucks. And there's nothing after this, is there? Ooh, 59. Okay. Ooh. Never, never trust the Hagrag. Hagrag's a great mid card act. Yeah. He flew too close to the sun. Fulcher ugly. A referee. What the fuck happened with these names? These are like names. Uh, you ever play uh, Metal Gear Solid Five? Uh, I have watched the first hour of gameplay. Okay. Yes, I get it, Pop. Please don't drop us. Uh, well, anyway, in that game, you like recruit people to like your army or whatever. They all have weird names like that. They're all like uh, Ravenous Dog or like. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I don't think there's a brick South Carolina in that. No, probably not. Oh, the American Independent Show. I'm curious. Mosh and Jesse White over Vortex and Bryant Woods. This show was real bad. In front of 88 people in a high school. Uh-huh. Moose is wrestling in front of 88 people. Oh, Leslie Butterscotch. And MVP is wrestling in front of 88 people as well. Yep. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. EJZ. Is that Austin Aries? No, that's Aries. Oh, yeah, because there's no I. Yeah. I was really excited that DJZ and Austin Aries were fighting Matt Tremont. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still weird. All right. I think we got oh, Cody Diener. Remember Cody Diener? I, uh, yeah, I do remember Cody Diener. Yeah, we got one more week and then the pay-per-view. So if Eddie Edwards is going to team with David Women. Starr, is he not not going to get fired? Yeah, I guess he's not. Oh, Eddie. Oh. Because oh. her whole thing was going to be like, Eddie gets fired and then comes back and beats up Sting or whatever. Hmm. 
because none of the other people in this match. <laughs> I mean, we could we could fire Hagger. That would be very entertaining. <laughs> I'm actually all about that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm uh, just gonna go ahead and. Who's getting the tag, Sutter? Uh, I mean, either him or Eddie. You want to slip that over to Eddie? Maybe that's so we can make them a tag team. Eddie wins the tag thing, and he's like, I don't have a tag partner. <laughs> yeah, he, like, looks at it with, like, complete disgust. Just like, yeah. oh, what am I supposed to do with this? Women. One bad main event, Haggis and the Dog. See, he's not him getting fired is going to be the best thing that's ever going to happen to him. It's a storyline. It's just going to be weeks of him doing like Hagrag is just going to go further off the deep end and turn into freaking Alex Jones. Yeah, this is going to be when it's a conspiracy. They put it in the water. Facebook and it's just yeah. Now there's nothing holding him back. Mm -hmm. That's the opposite. I don't want male. I want female. Active wrestlers. Uh-huh. Uh, you, you know. Recognizable. I think recognizable might be even a bit. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Sienna, who we let go. Uh-huh. Eva Lee's. Eva Lee's. Jessica. <laughs> I'm all, I almost want to sign Eva Lee's just to have you do that whenever we do anything. Shayna Baszler. Huh. Was she ever in? Yeah, I'm assuming this is like before she got signed. No. She's in NXT. Huh. Is is she over? Yes. We should sign Shayna Baszler. <laughs> I also like love Shayna Baszler's run right okay. now. So Great, another person for me to not be able to book. Actually, we have Hojo, so just fucking book Shannon Hojo feud forever. But that's never happened in this universe, so she we'll was be an first NXT. To do it. So the May Young Classic but, happened, but Hojo was gone. We signed her. Well, that's because WWE cut her because they cut that's everyone. What... I guess the first May Young Classic happened, but they never feuded. You're right. Will Shayna like or hate anime? I don't think she's getting involved in that. But, like, I mean, she's going to be a heel, right? So, she, I mean, she hates anime by default. Yep. Or she's a weird heel that likes anime, and just, that's why she doesn't get involved in that feud. I don't know who this is, and I feel like I should. She has a Mackenzie. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Shazza. Uh, all right. I I don't know who many of these people are. I know Hamada, but she's 37 now. Uh-huh. Wait, we just signed a 30. Oh. I Candace. know who Barbie. What is she doing here? Not being over? No, she's oh. pretty over. Yeah, that's weird. Should we sign Candace? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Reunite Mercedes, Shayna, and Rosemary. I don't know of that storyline. Von Airy, cheerleader Melissa, Deanna Perrazzo. Don't know who this is. She was apparently in TNA. I have no idea who that is. Liv. Yeah, she's not she's over like and was bad. Over. Yeah. Hania the Howling Huntress. <laughs> you know that's a Jakari gimmick. She was trained by Claudio and Quackenbush. Mm-hmm. Of course she was. I uh, hit up Kushida. I told Kylie Perez. 
Man, not she was more over. Right I know. Yeah. Also, not good. Well, she would come in as a manager. We're not going to yeah. have Carly wrestle. What are you crazy? She's actually good, although probably not over. Yeah, not over enough. We're not we're not signing Lisa Bates. Marty Bell. There's not a lot of people I put my foot down on, but one of them is Lisa Bates. Nicole Matthews. Savoy is decent in what I've seen of her. Yeah, she's not over though. She's not over. I don't know who this is. She was in the May on Classic uh, first year. Oh. I believe. None of these people are over. No to the no. sexy star. We already had Taya. Tony Storm's over. Eh. Eh. Karen Terrell was kind of over. Was she? A little bit. I'm not really interested in bringing in Taryn Terrell, though. Tony Storm sucks in TEW. Yeah. Probably does. Oh, Viper's not good in this at all. Although her no. performance is decent. Uh, can we go back up to uh, whatever we level we were before this? The regional star level. I guess Mercedes, I mean, uh, Martinez she, would be. She should be good, right? Like she's a 50. yeah. We should we oh. should sign Mercedes Martinez. Yes. She have her. Uh... No tag team with Eva Lise Velez. Bam. Book it. Are we signing Eva Lise? Yeah, why not? All right, and they have a tag team together. That's what I just said. I do know I'm on exactly. Jesse, uh, I actually generally do it that way. Just to make it a little bit of a smaller list. Who is this? Kelly Skater. Why are they so over? I don't know. Who are they? She's Australian. She's a comedy gimmick. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this person. She's a hard to shimmer champion. Okay. She good? Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. If we need one more, we could sign her. Was, was there anyone above this level? She retired in last year in real life. Okay. Okay. I don't think there was. Okay. But I will try. No. Okay. WWE took them all. If WWE wants to cut some people, that'd be great. Eh, we got, what, two, three more? Three? Yeah, we signed three, right? Four. Uh, Mercedes, Ivelisse, and who's I mean, the other one we Three signed? heels. But we did need heels. We so. need heels, yeah. And we signed, we signed four women. We're good. Yeah. I think I think we did a good thing here today. I think good. What is Ivelisse's backstage? It's I gotta can't be, imagine it's... good. It's going to be real bad. Hopefully Mercedes can keep her in check. Oh, New Japan made an offer to Tama Tonga. We didn't give him a written contract? Sworn we did. We did not. Huh, all right. Yeah. I don't know if I, I care enough. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> if he goes, he goes. That's fine. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Like if New right. Japan really wants them, they could take them. Oh no, injuries sidelined JTG. What the oh, fuck no. is JTG wrestling? Ah, Lucha Underground, of course, and PWG. <laughs> Two companies with one thing in common Ryback. <laughs> Two things in common Ryback champion. and JTG. Well, I believe Ryback's a champion of both companies. Oh boy. Uh, they re-signed Victor. It looks like we're not getting that one. Shit. Oh, Cody Hall retired due to injuries. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. What the hell's Cody Hall up to in real life? He's in Noah. Okay. 
That's why you haven't heard anything from him. It's basically like being in like witness protection. <laughs> JTG next Bullet Club member. Oof. I I do, I do I do know it vibes. That's why I'm trying to delay it as long as possible. We don't need to call him the big guy. His name is Ryback. He is Ryback Reeves. But it's funner to come up with a dumb TNA name. Oh, Xavier Woods is coming up. And okay. we have a video game feud going. Oh my god. He's probably real over, right? Like he should be over. Yeah, he's staying though. Sixty three, yeah. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. CC3 actually isn't as over as I thought it'd be. Yeah. Because, like, Randy Orton... Randy Orton was in the 70s, and so I thought... Well, I guess Randy Orton is more over than, like, the New Day. But, like, not that much, right? Yeah, he's, like, seven points more over. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I don't think many people in WWE are, like, that high in overness. Y'all can give Tagalo a singles push. That's all right. <laughs> Uh, we give Camacho a singles push. Uh, no, no, we can't. Hmm? Why would we do that? Huh? What? Oh, no. Okay, Nick. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't his WWE gimmick. Never mind. No, it was. Oh, it was. Okay. No, we still can't give him a singles push. Yeah, why not? <laughs> He's Camacho. <laughs> yeah, he comes out on his bike. I don't see the problem here. <laughs> Look, we've had a giant hole in our card for Camacho. <laughs> giant bike-sized hole. All right, he can ride his bike to the ring, but his gimmick has to be that he's envir- he's an environmentalist and everyone that drives a car oh, is an can, asshole. We cannot have an environmentalist gimmick while we have Juice Robinson on. The oh, road. that's right. Well, that'd be his first feud, because Juice Robinson will have, like, uh, fucking nom flashbacks. <laughs> and he's like, no! Oh, Anthony so, like, Anthony Hayes starts... is muscular. Oh. Well, he's had a lot of time to work out since we stopped booking him. He's looking real jacked. Yeah. How, how he's, you... he's just showing up backstage like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, I've just been working out. Uh, I got in pretty good shape. Just, uh, <laughs> just, uh... just saying... <sighs> You know, whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready to use me, I think we use him. I yeah, think why not? I new... like Anthony Henry. He's just not over. Like we've been trying. Yeah, New Wolves versus CCK. We we kind of were like, oh, Davy Richards is a lot. Bit, this is like really good. We should stop teaming him with Anthony Henry, and then Anthony Henry just kind of drifted away. Yeah. Oh, Ray Mysterio signed for New Japan. Okay, great. This New Japan that they're running is like kind of what our New Japan became, except they put all the old people on top. Yeah. But like they're just hiring a bunch of American wrestlers and doing all that stuff. You're going to give Anthony Henry a Triple H knockoff gimmick. What? No. Oh. Man, big guy Teddy Hart and Pindar defeated Vibora, Black Lotus, and Jeremiah Crane. Who, who are you speaking English right now? <laughs> I'm speaking Lucha Underground, brother. <laughs> the language of wrestling. Is Hart Teddy Hart? That's the only. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. I'll, I'll allow that. Just because it has Teddy Hart, so that it's like, well. Of course it's crazy. Yo, you remember when Impact let people co-stream that show and Teddy Hart and Scott Steiner killed people? Yeah, it was a good show. Yeah, that was pretty fun. You think they're going to do it again this year? Uh, I don't know if Impact will be around. <laughs> yeah, but we said that last year and look what happened. Yeah, that's fair. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I won't be able to stream it this year. Tell you that much. Okay. I will be at a show. Oh, that's all right. I'll just do it myself. That's fine. I'm doing the whole weekend, brother. I'm doing all, yeah. it's like an hour drive away. So yeah. I'm just waiting till I come back to Florida. Should only be another year or two. Yeah, really. 
I mean, what do we got? California next? Then have they announced where they're going next year? I don't know. I don't know. They'll probably do Phoenix again soon, and then yeah, you'll get a Miami or Orlando. All right, this is our go home show. Yeah, of course. Uh, we we have two matches that we need to do. The the everyone the losers match the losers ball, uh huh, and the uh, I I really want to do the new wolves versus CCK. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. And probably a main event featuring... How do you feel about Alex Shelley teaming with Kaylee Ray to take on Desmond Xavier and Ashley? In the main event? In the main event. Uh, uh, I really like it. (laughs) (laughs) I actually do like it quite a bit. Okay. Um, what are we doing with Lashley and EC3? Lashley's got his match, so. I think we get him out of the match. I think he gets jumped backstage and then he's not in that match because we don't want Bobby Lashley to lose that match. Um. I think that's what we're doing with EC3 and Lashley. Okay. So let us. Oh, we have an incident. Oh, boy. Oh, he set up the waffle bar. Oh, who is it that set up the pancake thing a week ago? Last two weeks ago? Yeah, he was... For... Now Paul Lynch is there like, fuck it, I'll show you what's up. Waffles <laughs> are way better. Fuck you, Bob. Stop stealing what? the New Day's gimmick. Yeah. Lashley's over there. Lashley's over there making waffles and, like, side-eyeing Paul London. <laughs> Do like, a right, yeah. like... All right, it see how it is. Comes like a competition. We're just yeah. trying to make the best. Lashley and London's London's breakfast bash. There you go. <laughs> Next week he's gonna be like, uh, David Starr brought crepes. <laughs> David Starr had his uh, make your own omelet station. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Total nonstop <laughs> breakfast. Our shows are at midnight. <laughs> Brick, South Carolina made scratch made biscuits. Oh, I mean, shit, man. If he did some, like, grilled hash and eggs, mm. I mean, with the name Brick, South Carolina, he has to make good hash. Like, Brother, with the name Brick, South Carolina, there's the only thing you're getting with those biscuits is sausage gravy, brother. That's yeah. it. Slathered on top. Yep. More gravy than brisket. Brisket. Hell yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, some brisket on there, too. Let's go. <laughs> that's that's not right, but it is right. Um, <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> that, that's Brick South Carolina's catchphrase. <laughs> Anytime someone takes a big bump, oh, that ain't right. <laughs> oh, he laid on his head. That ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> okay. Stang. <laughs> Stang. Do we need him to come out? He hasn't started a show in a while. Um, What's he going to say? Just nothing. announce the main event? Yeah, he was, but no. Fun, I mean, no. Desmond Xavier's coming out to start the show. All right. And he he is going to start talking about... The, we'll say the main event's already booked. He's talking. Nick, I have an idea. Oh, God. Yes? <laughs> Desmond Xavier comes out. He's doing the typical, like, calling out the Alex Shelley promo. He comes out. They're doing like a pretty typical back and forth. And then Kaylee Ray and Ashley just start brawling down the ramp. <laughs> That's amazing. And okay. Then... I'm sorry I doubted you. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly and Desmond are like, uh, uh, excuse me. We're having a promo here. Y'all mind. And they just like keep fighting. And then they, they start trying to pull them apart. And then like they get involved. And it just turns into like a big mess. And then, then Stink comes out. He's like, let's just have a tag match. I don't know. If you guys don't want to stop fighting, we'll just we'll figure something out. Yep. <laughs> the the, the blow off for this Ashley Flair Kaylee Ray feud is going to be a loser has to stop fighting match. <laughs> <laughs> that was I mean, this is the best um like mid card feud I think we've booked in a long time. 
it's just Ashley Flair and Kaylee Ray just won't stop fighting. I mean, it's, it's like a top of the card feud. They're getting 60s. That is, that is true. They're about to be in the main event. Yeah. Are they doing the like, like the WWE brawl into the crowd, where like punch and then walk a little bit and then punch? I mean, that's, like, I would imagine you have to, right? That's the only yeah. way you could like come down the ramp while fighting. Yeah, I would just like unless one of them gets tackled and they like roll down the ramp. That's also amazing. I was imagining like the the Kevin and Sammy like just punching each other, but walking sideways down the ramp while. Oh, doing they, it. yeah, these are all valid options. Maybe they do all three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they one gets tackled, they roll down the ramp, they just then they fight back up it and fight back down it. Perfect. The entire time like Xavier and Shelly are trying to cut the promo, but like stop every so often to be like, uh <laughs> Alright, let's let's do let's put matches in here. Alright, we have to start with that losers match, because we have to remember who the losers were. Uh, it was Tracy Williams, uh, uh-huh. it was Lashley, who is not in the match, so that has to uh-huh. happen first, but that's fine. It was... Big Dog uh, and Big Bird. Big Dog, Big Bird, and the person whom Braxton Sutter beat... No, with... Braxton Sutter is the one getting... Oh, sorry, not the person who Braxton Sutter beat. The... So Lashley's out. Yeah, the person so... who Davey Richards beat, which was... Laredo Man and Matt Seidel in a triple threat. Good. Laredo Man, Matt Seidel, uh, Big Dog, Big Bird. I've already forgot. Um, Tracy Williams. Tracy five Williams. people, all faces. Five, five man match. match. What a fun match! It was supposed it's to be Ashley in it, who would just murder all of them. Yeah, it's a good thing he's not in this match. I mean, he might not murder Braxton Sutter. They had a good feud. I forgot the other one with Matt Seidel. Right up, man. Thanks. I'm very impressed that we remembered all the losers. I think I came, apart from that that triple threat match, came, mm-hmm. came pretty close. And I'm usually the one who forgets participants in matches seconds after we book it. So, Yep. Uh, we should probably do the angle where... Yeah, Lashley. Bobby Lashley gets beat up. Yep. By Ethan with a pipe and MJF, uh-huh. who is just limping behind Ethan, who has a pipe. He's just, like, holding the chicken suit. Yep. EC2. Oof. That's... People chant that at MJF. Uh, they'll be like, they'll call him EC2, and I'm always like, wouldn't it be four? Right, it should be EC4, you idiots, <laughs> you bunch of dummies. Excuse me, EC2 was my father. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not well. I mean, it's it is MJF re- is not Ethan Carter's dad. Okay, <laughs> it is wrestling fans. You can't. I know. It's oh my god, fucking dopes. Uh, I would like to see Travis Banks and Brooks and Davey and Anthony, mainly Anthony Henry, in a in a little bit of a talkie. Okay. Like a a pre match, we'll do like the. The like cut, like the two people cut in the promo, then cut to the other two people cut in the promo type thing. Mm-hmm. Bunch of dummies. Eli Drake coming back. Surprised Eli Drake wasn't on that indie show wrestling in front of 80 people. <sighs> He's in WWE. Is he? The fact that you had to ask that just shows how bad of a state WWE is oh, in this boy. safe. But no, I I don't think he is. I think that I think he's just floundering in the Indies. But WWE yeah. has made some real weird decisions. Mm-hmm. You mean like cutting all of their good women's wrestlers? Yeah. 
handed them to us on a silver platter. They still have Nikki Bella. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, the, the great. They have um, Nikki Sawa and the real shooter, Brie Bella. They're good, good to go. Yeah. Next UFC star, Brie Bella. Yeah. Uh, CCK is winning this match, though. I mean, Anthony Henry is on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> like, if we yeah. keep being like, oh, we should give Anthony Henry a match. Anthony I know, Henry's but he can't, this match. he can't win this match. Like, he, just, he can't win the match. All right. Uh, I have. I have. Uh, I have a weird promo. Okay, I'm listening. And it involves Will Ospreay and ACH. Okay, I'm and, still listening. And video games. Mm-hmm. It also involves Pentagon and Phoenix. Okay. And I think ACH is trying to get Will Ospreay to like hustle the Lucha Bros into giving them a title shot through Smash Brothers. And they just like, they're like, no, no, no. And Pent- <laughs> Pentagon's just like looking at the, the stuff like, what? Um, and, uh, and then, then Will's just gonna get upset because you know, they they well you're too good for video games. They think you're you're better than this. This is really making Will Osprey feel like a heel. I'm gonna I'm gonna back off. I'm. I was I'm gonna say I don't know where we're going with this. It was going for a match like a a weird AC8 like like strange bedfellows match to try and get it's all four the of those. Bros? Yeah, just get all four of them on the card, but nah. What's Spanish for no? That would be no. Well, that that's a that is a question Will Osprey would one hundred percent actually ask. Yeah, they say no, and he just turns to ACH and is just like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> I don't speak uh, Spanish. I mean, why don't you just team one of them with the Lucha Bros against Paul and Joey and another one? Yeah. Did we did we literally do that last I, week? We did that exact match last week. Okay, that's fair. Um it's fine. Uh I have something else that I need to do anyway. I need to write a wrong. We got we still got the Lees. I have Rosemary. Uh-huh. She's going to talk this time. Right? And she is going to walk right up to Kyrie Hojo backstage. And just be like, you won't know when it's coming, but in the locker room, we'll say. She walks up to her in the locker room, and it's just like, you know, you won't know when it's coming, but when you least expect it, that's when it'll hit you. And then walks away, and Hojo's like, she has that look of like, all right, whatever. Like, Then she opens her locker, and the bat is in, or the 2 by 4 or whatever is in the locker, and Hojo backs up. She is spooked again. It was a successful should, spooking. Shouldn't she know that it's happening at Genesis? <laughs> she won't know. <laughs> is that, like, is it telling her you won't know it's going to happen? Shouldn't it be like, hey, we're having a match at Genesis? <laughs> All right. Then, <laughs> I forgot we didn't actually book that no. match. Yeah. Good call. Good call. All right, so Rosemary... Uh, <laughs> what if he does just say, you won't know what's going to happen, and then Hojo's just like, Genesis! Rosemary, Let's press on Genesis! Rosemary does, like, the nod. Like, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, then, I guess I guess we'll wrestle at Genesis. Do we still do the jump scare at the end? Now no, we still, we still do it, yeah, yeah. Complete with, like, the loud music and the zoom in on it. No, not caps lock. We should probably also do that for the tag title match because I don't think we've ever actually like they have barely interacted. Yeah, that'll be how the Lucha Bros get on it. Uh, yeah, Joey. Joey's got a little fire under him now, having having you know pinned the champs mm-hmm. and Paul. Who is Paul? They come out and 
Joey Janela is cutting the uh, the infamous Nick and Swarley book TNA. Hey, I just pinned the champs. I think that means I get a title shot mm-hmm. promo. And uh, Pentagon and Phoenix, I think I they're fighting champions, so why not? Yeah, why, why wouldn't they say yes? Yes, see. Cerro Miedo. Yeah. Joey, Joey's, uh, Joey's like, I, I, too, zero Miedo. I, I also, yes. What does that mean? Paul, what does that mean? It means zero Miedo. <laughs> Is this what we do? We just, we just do Spanish language jokes mm-hmm. with Pentagon and Phoenix. I mean, to be fair, Paul London is high. <laughs> he takes out like a uh, translation book, like a Spanish to English. Says here it means zero mierdo. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> thanks, Paul. All right. Throwing the matches together on the the go home show. Yep, really TNA ended up. I mean, we built all of that up. To be fair, yeah, we did. Keith Lee and Will Ospreay. Oh no! <laughs> versus the Lee the Lee boys. Is ACH gonna come out? ACH is on commentary. Oh. So you're telling me we have a commentary team of Brick, South Carolina, Ultraman is Black, and you don't want the third man to be Will Ospreay? I don't want the third man to be Will Ospreay. No. Actually, you know what? Yeah, Keith Lee and ACH versus the Lee Boys. Sure. Well, let's, just, let's just lean even further into the fact that this is a racially motivated feud. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put... No, I'm gonna, no, 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 no. It's booked. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm no, gonna go. it's, it's done. What's Will's done there. is done. Oh, looks, Will. Hey, Will, how's it going? <laughs> He's not a lead. We'll just have ACH on commentary being like, man, the leads are... I don't know about you, but don't you think they're a little bit? And then Brick's like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. No, Ultraman is Black has to be the one that's like, oh, no! Oh, I don't know what you're talking about, young young Albert. <laughs> yeah, just... Like, immediate overreaction. Like no, nope. I, I really think what ACH should be doing the whole time is they'll be like, uh, so uh, ACH, you know, you're going to be wrestling Will Ospreay, uh, Genesis this Sunday. You you got any, uh, you know, what what do you even see it? What what do you think about him? And he's gonna be like, man, his uh, his guard game is weak. He keeps getting thrown off the stage. He doesn't know how to climb back up. And they're like, what? <laughs> hey man, what are you talking about, man? And be like, oh, we're we not we're not doing Smash. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to talk trash on uh, Will Ospreay's lack of uh, smash skills the whole time. Who who's getting the win in this weird match? Oh, um, Is the leads are gonna the... cheat. The leads are gonna cheat. Okay. Okay. Got twenty six minutes left. I mean, we still got our main event. I know. Okay. What is so? I know we're not doing it yet. What is David Starr's heel gimmick going to be? Just arrogant? Eddie Edwards understudy. (laughs) Eddie Edwards Jr. (laughs) (laughs) Um. All right. Let's let's book the main event. We'll go from there. Because I have a end of the show angle. Okay, great. All right, so Ashley Flair mm-hmm. um, and Desmond Xavier mm-hmm. and Kaylee Ray. Main eventer. Anywhere in the world. And Alex Shelley. Yep. Who wins? I mean, the obvious one is Xavier pins Shelley if this is what happens. 
I mean, I'm real tempted for it to go to a no contest because the girls can't stop fighting. <laughs> uh, do you think that'll be okay? In the main event? I don't know. Uh, what? I mean, they could fight like to the back, but like the match keeps going, right? So, like, yeah, Desmond Xavier can pin Alex Shelley. That's fine. Yeah. If Alex Shelley's cool with it. <laughs> like, that that's why he gets pinned. It's because they fought to the back. Like, they, they become non-factors in the closing minutes because they fight into the crowd or whatever. Yeah. Shelley can either get distracted by it or, like, Desmond does some cheating because the ref's distracted by it. This can probably be storytelling. You sure? I'm going to check. Okay. Performance excellent, so yes. You know Ashley can tell a story, bro. Excellent. Good enough. We're doing it. What's your big closing angle? Backstage. Mm -hmm. Still brawling. We got Ashley brawling to the back Mm -hmm. with Kaylee Ray. And they like, it's one of those things where they pass something and the camera stays on what they pass. Okay. Um, And they pass uh, Ethan Carter uh, on the phone. Asking for whoever is on the other end to have it ready for Sunday. All right. I've already sent you the measurements. And then we just end the show on that mystery. The mystery of is Ethan Carter talking about another chicken soup? Is there going to be another chicken suit? And is it going to be on a pole? Um, I would love to have a flag match, but with chicken suits. <laughs> in, in one corner, the new chicken suit. and the other corner, the ripped up old Correct. chicken suit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> All right, we should probably give Eddie and Juice a match in the pre-show or something. Uh, I would like Eddie and Haggard to have promos since they're going to be in the thing. I don't know if we have time. All right, Haggard. Sure. <laughs> Eddie Edwards, like the least responsive Haggard guest of all time. Hagrag. Yeah, they get into it a little bit since they're both in the Feast of Fire. Yeah. Eddie Edwards you know, makes a comment like, you know, this company would be a better place if you just pulled down the briefcase that happened to say fired in it. Huh. And, whoo. And Eddie Edwards is just going to be like, aren't you the guy that just hosts a talk show? What, what exactly do you do here? Yeah. Why do they let but you they wrestle? Let, yeah. Last time I checked, I was world champion like a month ago and you, like, your desk is held together with duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> when Keith Lee power bombed you through it. Yeah, it get, it gets real tense. You know what? I think I think Eddie should put Haggard through the table. No, that would make him a face. Yeah. I think he goes to do it and then it just does the like, ah, you're not worth my time. I, I would like Haggard to get mad and then he like punches the desk and it just kinda of falls apart. Sad hag. He <laughs> originally motivated storylines lashley in a chicken suit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, he wasn't supposed to be in the chicken <laughs> to suit. To be fair, yeah. It was supposed to be Ethan. I mean, him being in the chicken suit isn't too, too bad. It's alright. Everything's fine. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's TNA. What can you do? Dan Barry's a mid-carder. We haven't booked Dan Barry like all month. Let's put him in a dark match. All right. What's Dan Barry doing? 
Uh, him. And, oh, he's just wrestling a singles match. Okay. Oops. I guess he's wrestling Juice Robinson. Well, that's fun. Okay. I'm actually curious at how well this is. Well, how well this is. I kind of wanted to have Dan Barry win a match. Okay. No, like I why like I didn't want to book a one on one match. You just kind of did that. Yeah, it was instinct. Team Tremendous is beating whom? Um. LAX. LAX. <laughs> LAX. I like LAX too. I know, but they're real not good. Yeah. This is just two dudes. Yeah. Not the main event. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> All right. Can we just have Juice cut a promo? In uh-huh. the- I'm way ahead of you. Oh, all right. Uh, juice, promo, then dancing. Oh, that's on the show. Pre-show. Yeah. Pre-show dancing. Would that really be worse than Lashley and Hagger last week? What was that, a 50? Let's yeah, it see. Yeah, 50. All that right. was real bad. Yeah, but at least this week, even if the main event was bad, we got ECG ordering the chicken suit. And so that'll, that'll do good. All right, so we are in Massachusetts. Okay, good. That's fine. No, it would not have been better, but it wouldn't have been that much worse. Yeah, that was that was not good. Well, that, whatever. It was a dark match. Maybe mm. Dan Barry will be happy. Oh boy, what are we gonna do with you, Juice? Uh, job him. That's what we're gonna do? <laughs> All right, I'm. That's it. Ooh, a seventy for this. I'm very I'll ta- happy. I'll take that. Yep. Perfect. Everything. This is off to a this is a hot start. Everything's coming up impact. Whoa. Yeah, I'll t- for a random five boy, I'll take that. Whoa, Andrew Everett is better than Tracy Williams now. Yeah. Which I don't I mean, even I really don't know how Tracy Williams is the upper mid carter. Like we never use him and he's not good either. Yeah. Crowd loves him. Yeah. They love hot sauce. That that like, is true. Like the thing, the thing, hot sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this did good. Yep. So Anthony Henry can be in talking segments. Yep, that's good to know. He doesn't absolutely kill them. Whoa. Hagrag, baby. <laughs> this hagrag, very tense. Yeah, this did good. Yeah, this did good. Actually, this did like main event good. I don't know why I'm like, oh, this is okay. Like, yeah, no, this is this is probably because it had Anthony Henry in it, and it's like Ooh. probably would it. Woo, okay. What is happening? Stop, <laughs> stop rating Rosemary on overness. That's what's happening. Yep. I mean, for the mid card, this is also good. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's... Oh. Keith Lee oh, this would be better. Will Osprey right. have great, great chemistry. Shit. At the announce desk, ACH was pretty weak. I mean, he was talking about Smash the whole time. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Kaylee Ray is not a Lee. That is not how that works. No. It'd have to be K Ray Lee, <laughs> which <laughs> is just ridiculous. Yeah, now you're being foolish. Uh, this is amazing. And Dez and Xavier was the least skilled person in this match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's no Kaylee Ray, but what can you do? Yes. <laughs> this was a uh, really good show. Yeah, the dumber our shows have gotten, the better they've been doing. Yep. Is EC3 ordering another chicken suit? 65 overall show. <laughs> this is amazing. Kaylee Rayleigh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
god, that's actually good. <laughs> she's not southern though. She's like she's Scottish. Yeah. So that K- Kaylee Rayleigh sounds like two different people. <laughs> this hey, is this is Rayleigh, Kaylee, Rayleigh, Rayleigh and his wife. Yeah, this is a uh, Rayleigh and his wife Kaylee. She should marry Brody and become Kaylee Lee. Damn it, that's also good. Tamatonga, gone. All right. Laredo Man, upset. Dan Barry, not happy about What are you mad about? (laughs) You just Just want to laugh. Oh, Dan Barry. Uh, We should fire fire Tonga Loa and Rich Brennan. Wow, you don't even want to keep Tonga Loa as a jobber? Nope. Okay, bye. Oh, we got him to written. Oh, wait, no. Tamatonga's still here. Yeah, for a week. Oh, okay, okay. We got Tonga Loa unwritten. Uh, I think you fucked up, Nick. I I fucked up. <laughs> I'd like you to reconsider your decision. You, you wait. Did. Are we gonna have to pay money to fire him? No. Oh yes, okay. thirty thousand. Then just keep him. Yeah, he can job. What about Rich Brennan? Can we fire Rich Brennan? Did we give him a written contract? Nope. We gave him six hundred dollars right. every time he got on the microphone. Damn, we weren't paying him anything. No wonder we hired him. Yeah. That was back in the like the lean days of TNA. Yeah. Before Brick, South Carolina. Uh David Starr. Um You wanna do understudy type gimmick? No, I just like what's his gimmick now? Uh legitimate athlete. Oh that's weird. Yeah. That I would is. just say I would just say like cocky. We got arrogant heel and cocky. Great, we're doing this one. Oh, he can't turn. Well, doing it anyway. You need to turn, and Eddie just turned. Why can't he turn? Uh, it's saying that it was too soon since the last one. He's been a face as long as he's been here. It's been like a year. Yep. Well, he's turning. So we'll whatever. See. We're in the I mean, he's still not turning for a while, so maybe by the time we do it, it'll be okay. Yeah. Because then he's gonna and he's gonna get that briefcase, and it'll probably be a week or two before he's like, "Ah, David Starr is the person." It's David Starr, and David Starr's like, "Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Me? What? <laughs> oh, after Chicken Suit era, hmm. it ain't done yet. Didn't you hear about that flag match we're doing? <laughs> That's happening. Yep." Like, I assume flag matches in the game, right? If not, it will be. It will be hard to make. <laughs> yeah. Super Tiger. Super Tiger? The rated R Super <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> not uh, interested in the rated R Super Tiger. No, no not, not even a little? No, hard pass. Kelly Skater got the title. Oh, man. Shit. Yeah, but it's the Shine title. Is that that doesn't yeah, count? Yeah. She she, uh, she won it from vacant. <laughs> oh, good. That's who we need to sign. It's vacant. That guy's all over the place. Yeah. This man looks sick. <laughs> sick boy. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is this? <laughs> Keaton Cray is an English wrestler who works exclusively in the British Isles. Right. He's too sick to go anywhere else. Eh, probably. Davari was already in Lucha Underground. Now he's back. Great. He, he did so well. All Japan I has Coda. I guess. Yep. Game wouldn't lie. Yeah. No wonder New Japan, All Japan's the no, top, what was it, number one most improved or whatever? Yeah, I'm, uh, where's All Japan here? All right, not even, oh, we're number seven. Get okay. There. Number eight in influence. Just size and prestige. All right. We're moving. Like, I don't know, on one hand, it's like, oh, that seems all right, but then when you see that the, the Next company below us is Smash Wrestling. It's like, maybe that's not so great. 
we're ahead of all Japan, and they have Kona. Yeah, I guess. Hey, remember Matt Riddle? <laughs> every every stream we bring up at least once. R.I.P. Matt Riddle. Cable Vision. Mm-hmm. Save. It's uh, it wants us to run the show in Puerto Rico. No. Just... I... Okay. I'm just making sure you notice that that's what it said. Brick goes home. Hey man, I ain't, I ain't go. I ain't leaving the country, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Brick, uh, I'd like to inform you. No, nah, no, nah, man, uh, not happening. Mm-mm. You don't. You Brick, inform me Brick South Carolina want. State in the good old U.S. of A. I need to work on my Ultraman. It's black. It's not. It's not where it needs to be. It's not. It's not one you have to bring out of the bag too often, though. Yeah, that's true. So. That's true. Who knew that you'd be doing a <laughs> weekly Ultramanus Black routine, yeah? Yeah, week, not only a weekly Ultramanus, but you have to do a, a two-man show of Ultramanus in this fictional brick South Carolina. <laughs> well, the fictional character is the easiest one to do, because it's just whatever voice I can do. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're on thin ice, uh, Tangaloa. All right. Also, three incidents, jeez. Laredo Kid caused an incident where he antagonized Tonga Roa so much that a fight almost broke out. As his employer, you now have to choose what to do with Laredo Kid too. Fine him. Okay. Do, do you do you disagree? No, I'm, that's exactly what I would do. He is okay. happy. Okay, good. Laredo Kid is happy. That's fine. Tonga Roa is happy. Okay, great. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Brody Lee played a great rib. All right. I like to think he set up like a breakfast station and just didn't have any food. (laughs) (laughs) He's just like punking on Lashley. Oh, no. This has to be like a didn't shake someone's hand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. He didn't pick up his share of the tab. That that seems. That scumbag. Yeah. Now he has to pay the full cost next time. (laughs) Interesting. All right, so. <laughs> chat, chat room's doing a great uh, uh, <laughs> recreation of that uh, brawl. <laughs> yeah, that brawl would just be like Laredo Kid, too, who's like, God, he's, he's less than 5'6", right? Yeah, he, he's, a little, he's a little shit. He's a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> and just being a little shit, and then Tongaro is swearing a bunch. Yeah. This is why we, I mean, I wish it, there was an applaud option so that we could have applauded the two of them. Just been like, no, that was a great show. Thanks. I wish you were that entertaining out in, you know, in the ring. Yeah. Uh, all right. Pay-per-view. Here we go. Are we doing the anime match? We built. Jack oh, we're Shirt. doing it. Of course. All right. I feel like that might get bumped to pre-show. Why would he get one? No, we're going to have plenty of time. Oh, we got two Mercedes. Yep. That's needing to change. (laughs) Mercedes Martinez is getting a new name. Sasha Martinez. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Sasha and Shayna. Just to really confuse everybody. No, she's teaming with Ivelisse. Oh, right. Ivelisse, Ivelisse. Damn. The alliteration was right there. All right, Mercedes, Haley, Madison, and Tessa. Lexis Martinez. Hmm. Hmm. Toyota Martinez. Nah, man, it's got to be a luxury brand. BMW Martinez. <laughs> Who's winning this match, Farley? Uh, let's just let's just give it to him. Haley. Let's stop. Let's stop uh, jerking people around. Just anime is good, everyone. That's what we're telling you with this match. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> anime won the day. Everyone should watch anime. Anime is good. Who wins this match? Is this gonna keep going? <sighs> yeah. Okay. 
So we eventually want to get Will Ospreay out of the X Division, right? I would like this. I don't know. I want ACH to win. Okay. I would I would accept ACH winning. I don't know if I want to do it in the first match. Yeah, but, you know what? Yeah, ACH we, wins. Well, I'll speak get a rematch. If, if we not now, then when? Time. Yeah, exactly. Look, it's Genesis. It's the new year. Yeah. Go. Go for it. Go all out. ACH, X Division champion. Will Ospreay freaks out after the match. I don't think he freaks out after the match. We've been building him as a sore loser. We're, we've been building Will Ospreay as a heel, but only yeah, through video have. games. We have. Yeah, but through video games. Correct. So maybe Will just takes this loss fairly well. I think so. And then he goes back to being a sore loser in video games on Thursday night. Uh-huh. Hojo and Rosemary. Hell yeah. Uh, Kyrie's winning this match by DQ when Rosemary hits her with the weapon. You cool with that? I'm sorry, what was that? Hojo winning match. DQ. Rosemary hitting her with the weapon. That's fine. Okay. Where's my DQ finish? There it is. All right. I'm just going to keep doing matches for now. I mean, she's hitting her with Janice. She's not hitting her with a pirate hat. She she is not hitting her with Janice. <laughs> she's going to sledgehammer it, but she's hitting her with Janice. Oh, like hit her with the handle of it? Yeah. Where there's no nails? Correct. Okay, that's stupid. So is hitting someone with the flat part of a sledgehammer. Yeah, that's just because someone else does dumb things doesn't mean we have to do... Well, never mind. <laughs> Wrestling. Yes, it does. I know. I stopped myself. All right. I was like, we're having a chicken suit flag <laughs> match later. I should probably shut up. Yeah, we could, we could do the safe... <laughs> no, I want her to go full force with the nails. See, that's why I just don't like when people bring weapons like that. Because it's like, well, you're obviously not going to use it. So why like, why I even mean, have it? Dean here? brought a chainsaw. Yeah, and it was dumb. Yeah, it was the worst. <laughs> All right. Uh, who wins this match? The Lucha Brothers have to win this match. Okay. Like, no offense to Paul and Joey, but, like, <laughs> they know. <laughs> All right. Brody and Keith. I would like Keith Lee to win this match. I would also like Keith Lee to win this match. I'm glad we're in agreement. Also, we should not Booker T this feud. <laughs> Correct. Brody I don't Lee. care that Brody Lee's. I don't care. Okay. I mean, do you care? No. Okay. I really don't. Flag match. Flag match. Doesn't exist yet. Is there something similar? Uh, hold on. It, it it would be... Is there not item retrieval match here? Am I crazy? I mean, isn't that just a ladder match? Yeah, I'll just take it from ladder match and go from there. Item retrieval without ladders. That means they're on poles, bro. Do you the pole? Boom. One on one flag. 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 Also, this can tell you that, you know, we can do a uh, pole match if you ever want to. Hell yeah. 
should I have made this a chicken suit flag match and then lowered the prestige one? No. Who is winning the chicken suit match? Well, Lashley has to win. <laughs> Part That's two. The whole point of this feud is for Lashley to win, but I don't know. If, we didn't really build them up as much as I had hoped, so I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, he doesn't have to pin him, so maybe it'll be okay. Nope. Uh, but. Keep Ethan strong. Through botched MJF interference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. I, I'm going to just book this angle right now. Yep. Actually, Hulk Hogan's the shit out of the second <laughs> chicken suit. Oh, well, you know, it, there's two chicken suits. Oh, um, and there's two people who are... Yes. Yep. Damn it. Ethan, Ethan is, like, forced to put it on, and then MJF, you know, tries to get away, and Lashley kills him for the third time and just puts it on his dead body. Yep. We managed to pull the chicken suit feud out for two months. And we managed to make it into the greatest suit of all time. <laughs> well, we're here. It's over. All right. So that means we are now on Feaster Fired. Feaster Fired, baby. It's just a big old ladder match. Five? Six? Six. Uh, six. I guess it's a ladder match, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Somewhere Jerry Jerry is very proud of you. You're right. Oh, I didn't realize you could drag a tag team into singles matches. You, you really got saved there. Yeah, I was like, ah, I'm not going to remember. Okay, hold on. I, let's see if this works. What a match. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... and take, we had Travis Banks as the winner. We're still good with that? Yep. Okay. Do, do we want to give him any other uh, agent notes or anything? For that, I don't think so. Okay. Just just checking. I mean, that might end up being storytelling, but a lot of those people in that match can't, so... Yeah. Terrace's but... Mayhem. Mayhem might work, but then I'd have to lower the... Uh, lower the match time, which is perfectly fine. Not an issue. Yeah. Just don't let me forget to do it. All Not right. suit opening. That's I'm already thinking of the chicken suit again. Briefcase opening segment. And this is Travis Banks. He Travis won't... Banks. Yeah, if, if anyone hasn't seen what we wrote down. Travis Banks is going to get the world title briefcase. Dave Richards is going to get the exhibition title briefcase. Eddie Edwards is now going to get the tag team title yep. briefcase. And then... The Hagger, the Hagger, Mr. Hagrag himself is getting the fired briefcase. Yeah, I want him to be the first one to get a briefcase, too. Mm-hmm, yeah. So he has even more reason to be upset. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, cons- the conspiracy promos he's going to cut. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know how we're going to have to work, work his, like, online things onto the show, but we'll find a way. He's going to have to have a man on the inside. Mm-hmm. Or it'll just... We'll just cut backstage to Sting, like, watching the videos on his computer. Sting just being like, do you believe this shit? (laughs) Yeah, it shows the actual promo and then, like, pulls away of just Sting watching it and being like, what the hell? Like, a different person every week watching it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Did we do Flair and Ray? No. Good. I think I was saving it for up here. Yep. 
Ashley Flair and Kaylee Ray should be our storytelling match. It's a false count anywhere match. Uh, it is. That also doesn't exist, but really that's just a hardcore match or a street fight. Yeah, just do street fight because hard. I don't think they'll be able to do hardcore. Right. Haggard should set up outside the building every week and scream about conspiracies until Sting calls the cops. <laughs> That's I mean, that has to happen at least one week that has to happen, yeah. right? I mean, he's going to be cool. trying to get in the... There's, there's going to be, like, him in costumes trying to get in, just like Bobby Heenan on the original Raws. Yeah. Kaylee Ray's winning this match, right? Kaylee Ray's winning this match. Okay. Is there any big spot that, that does? You're not suggesting that Ashley take a stunt bump, are you? Uh, no. You know what? Okay. I'm ab- I am absolutely not suggesting. Okay. Good. I was, I was, and now I'm not. <laughs> Hearing you say that out loud, I was like, mm. <laughs> All right, and our title match. The title match of Desmond Xavier and Alex Shelley. Mm-hmm. A really, really good title match. I think so. This is, this is a good old-fashioned Nick and Swarley test. Yeah. Let's give them the slow build. Do you want to see if they could do the storytelling as well, or just just keep it with the slow build? Um, well? You could check, but I don't know if I want to risk it in our main event. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I'm all set. Thanks. All right. And none of those people need to be booked. We'll put them in the mid card. Um, are we good on angles? If, oh, because we have the briefcase opening segment. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, I think so. I think we need to redo the match order. Oh, I need to fix this. Because someone wanted mayhem. All right. Mayhem will kind of limit people, but also hide Hagger. Okay. That's good. And possibly hide Sutter, even though Sutter's been good. Like It limits weaknesses. Okay. Um, what, uh, what did you want to do? I don't want to open or? with the women's tag match. Right. X division? Yes. Then tag? Women's tag, then men's tag? Uh, Let's do women's tag and then the Lees. <coughs> and then the, yeah, I think that's good. This is fine. Yep. I feel like this ladder match should be lower. You sure? Yeah, it should probably, it should probably be before... Yeah, Ethan and Lashley. You're probably right. Okay. I can only imagine what Twitter would be like for this Ethan and Lashley feud. Uh, amazing, because it would be a, it's a great fucking feud. Because half the people would be like, "This is amazing," and half the people would be like, "Oh, lol, TNA booking chicken suits." Look, man, if people like the final uh, deletion, then why not the chicken I saw LOL TNAs during the final deletion. I guess that's fair. Um, Do you want to just book a good old-fashioned battle royal on the uh, pre-show? Yeah, it looks like we got 10 people there. Yeah, we haven't booked a battle royal in a long time. Hey, let's try 15. Yeah, why not? Uh, Take the ladies out. Everett. Henry, Carr, Caleb, Dan, David, Ethan, James, Juice, Laredo, Laredo, Matt, MJF, you have something else going on. Orange, Ortiz, Santana, Shane, nope, we're full. All right, anyone here absolutely needs to get in. Tracy, yes. Tracy, yeah. Laredo kid, I'm taking you out. I would like Trevor Lee in. Yeah. 
Shane Strickland should probably be in it. Yeah, I was going to say Ethan Page. All right. Okay. I have Hager come back as Jake Lee. Oh, man. Uh, these are all, these are like, there's too many good ideas going on for this Hager storyline. Uh, who's been in this match? Uh, eh, let, let me see the, uh, um, I mean, we're about to push, uh, push David Starr, right? Yep. Also give David Starr the most eliminations. Kind of give him a double bump there. Oh man. That's not where I want that. You sure? Yep. <laughs> okay. And we're going to end our pay-per-view with David Starr winning a battle royal. <laughs> oh, chat wants a random winner, but I kind of feel like no. we should. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, also, I... it's just it's just going to pick like Matt Seidel. That's no fun. Yeah. Matt Seidel isn't fun. I mean, he's kind of fun. He's all right. <laughs> In this shape, he's not fun. He's just there. Yeah. I think? mean, he 100% could have been doing the same thing Paul London is doing. That is true, but Paul London's doing it. And... <laughs> yeah, so suck it, Matt. I mean, when Joey turns on Paul, we could still do Paul and Matt Seidel as a team. Yeah, we could do that. Uh... And then when Matt, uh, Matt Riddle comes back, oh man. <laughs> what a trio that's going to be. Yep. So, All right, I think we're good. 70? Um, I think we're good. I think 70. All right, let's see. Yeah. I feel good I, about this. I, yeah, for a random 15-man battle royal, sure. Yep. I'll take that. Final four were Laredo Man, Tracy Williams, and Shane Strickland. So Laredo Man would have been the one who won this match. So thank goodness we didn't random it. Yeah. Because man, Laredo Man... Also, I like how Santana got in this match just by himself. Just him. Yeah. No, no Ortiz. No nope. Ortiz. We're not. We're not turning David Starr in this battle royal. Sorry. No game. Ortiz got in. He's just not pictured. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. What happened here? ACH won with a ready or not, here I come. Did, did you tell him to go all out? Yeah. Huh. And it was only like, yeah, 10 minutes, so it yeah, should have been fine. Hmm. Huh. Maybe one of them wasn't good at going all out for some reason? I don't know. This did all right. We, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been the better opener. Length probably capped the match rating, but it's an all-out match. They can't go more than like ten yeah, isn't like minutes. Tw yeah, like twelve is the max for that, isn't it? I think the max might be sixteen, but like if they have good in like stamina, and I don't know about ACH's stamina. I mean, it should be good. Eh. Anyway, yeah, I'll take that for this. Yeah. Keith Lee's getting there. Keith Lee got a fifty-four. Yeah, he's, he's a solid mid fifties now. Keith we Lee we finally be. got him places. Just took him killing Dan Barry. This, this was right. good too. Yeah. Hojo is for, good. Yeah, for a stupid DQ finish. I'll take that. Yeah, Tara says 15. You're still mad about the like brutal weapon being used like a sledgehammer. A little bit. Yep. Yeah, this is about what I thought this would get. Joey I'm and Paul are great. Not feeling good about this 70 right now. The good stuff is yet to come. Ugh. Oh, they didn't like it being mayhem. It held back Davy, Jack, and Eddie. Mm. It was supposed to help out Jack, though. Jake, mm. I guess. That's weird. Yeah. They, they did all right. Yeah. Uh, oh, the suitcase Davey and Eddie. Up for it. Davey and Eddie both got um, briefcases. 
I don't uh-huh. think we, yeah. we, we didn't do that on purpose, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. 10 minutes max 70, 15 minutes max 85, 20 minutes max 100. Oh, thanks, Pop. I've only been playing these games for like seven years and didn't know that. Oh. Oh, no. What happened? We kept Ethan Carter strong. Right, okay. So this should have been lower. Chicken Suits did well. Chicken Suits did well. All right, we really need these main events to come through now. All right. Okay. All right, 65 is good. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling this will be lower than 65 now. Nope, nope, nope. Don't say yeah. that. There we go. Good old, good old Border City stretch. Did he pass the test? I mean, he only got a 60. Well, this match was pretty good. Are you saying that there needs to be more tests? There needs to be more tests. Is 100% what I'm saying. 66. I'm I'm really happy with that. That's fine. From where we were going. Yeah. Who would have who would have thought a show with a feast or fired on it under uh, performed? Yep. <laughs> hmm. All right. So holy cow. I did not expect uh, Testament Saver to do that good. Are we? So we're just jumping right into to uh, Bank and Banks and what do you call it, Shelley? Then yeah. All right. So hold on. I don't know what the February pay per view is. Oh, no one does. Seth Rollins won the Royal Rumble. That's good. Did we run head to head with the Royal Rumble? Sure did. Okay, that seems like a bad idea. Oh, there was a hype video with Mike Kanellis, Tony Nese, Chad Gable, Darren Young, Curtis Axel, and Brian Kendrick. It got a 38. <laughs> that hype video was, we're firing these guys! <laughs> they had a match right after. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, the match was alright. <laughs> uh, Alicia Fox defeated Asuka. Fuck this game. <laughs> uh, at least Asuka's still there. That is true. Oh, hey, Bray Wyatt also might be available. That's okay. Bray and Matt Hardy. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, so I just want to do this. It would be Shelly Banks. Um, Davey and Will. Yeah, that sounds dope. No, it's Davey and uh, ACH. Oh, ACH one. Yeah. Uh, Eddie and Star. Sear. Sear. I'm going to be teaming with Kyrie Ojo <laughs> versus the Lucha Brothers. Uh, Hagger fired. Uh huh. Um,. Who's fighting Kaylee Ray? I would I like know. Shayna Baszler to be able to come in and do that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I didn't know if like she's big enough to... Like... I mean, I think we kind of fucked up because I think Rosemary probably should have just beat Hojo. I kind of want that to continue. But we like Rosemary could have been wrestling yeah, I get Kaylee it. Ray. But that's fine. Yeah, Baszler's fine. Or any of those heels, really. Mm-hmm. What are we doing with Ashley Flair now? Um, she, she could get a friend and wrestle the nerds. <laughs> she could get a friend and wrestle the nerds. <laughs> yeah. Anime versus Ashley. Got it. I don't know who her friend. Well, hold on. We don't. Who's your friend? Hey, we'll figure it out. No, we. That's what we're doing now. Shaza, whatever. No, we're not gonna. Look, if you don't, we don't have a friend for her. Then I would rather she just wrestle someone else. Don't you don't you don't hold Miriam. Miriam is now her her friend. Uh, I don't that like doesn't that. work at all. What if we do the nerds versus Mercedes Martinez and Ivalice, and then Ashley wrestles like Lufisto? 
Oh, Mercedes Martinez could be Ashley Flair's friend. That no, but that's the reason we brought in Eva Lee was to be Mercedes Martinez's friend. Oh, it's yeah, right, right, right. I keep I keep putting her with Shayna. I'm sorry. I keep putting everyone with Shayna who shouldn't be with Shayna. Oh, Ashley versus Candace. Oh, Tessa Blanchard. Oh man, I mean, she's kind of friends with Madison Eagles, but actually, Ashley and Tessa Blanchard, I like quite a bit. All right. Well, mm. she has to steal her from Madison Eagles then. Okay. I want that team to win the title, though. We'll see. Okay. Look, it's the Divas Knockouts Tag Titles. If they ping pong back and forth every month, like, yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Um. Okay. Are we continuing? I mean, Keith Lee just won. Uh huh. Clean. Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. So he should move on to face someone. Uh huh. I would like to see if he can face Desmond Xavier. What if he wrestled Ethan Carter? What? Yeah. What if he wrestled Ethan Carter? I mean, Lee if you're going to test three. someone, test them, buddy. Yeah, Lee versus three. Yep. Um, what are we doing with Bobby? Lashley? Who's Lashley fighting? Desmond Xavier? <laughs> Didn't we already do that? Uh, I don't know. I think so. I think it w- No, because they were both... Heels. Yeah, they were both heels for the longest time. Yeah. So yeah, I doubt it. Lashley versus Desmond Xavier. EC3's problems were with like Eddie Edwards for the longest time, so yeah, don't yeah. Don't, don't put that don't put that voodoo on us. Don't get out of here. Yeah. Plus, Keith Lee and Bobby Lashley are nothing alike. Lashley's MMA. Keith Lee's a nerd. Like, yeah. Bobby Lashley's in incredible shape. Keith Lee is a shape. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think that's good for now, right? Yeah, for now. I mean, we'll. I mean, Rosemary and Hojo is continuing. Yeah. Probably for the last one. We, mm-hmm. could, give, we could give Rosemary the win there to, to push her on. I still want to do something with Hojo, and she's not good, and she has no friends. She's good. Well, she's good, but like, she's not like she's not gonna yeah. win the title. Good. Oh, well, maybe we'll get her a friend. Gotta get her a friend. See, the problem is her friends. Are like Mercedes and Haley, who are the champions. You're right. Hojo and Candace sounds like a good team. No, no one here would be big enough in America. Hojo and Candace sounds like a good team. It does. Fine. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll make that great tag team a reality. What's EO doing? Why are you in written? I feel like I do this every time. Yeah. This is at least the third time we've looked at this. Okay. Fine. I, I will book Hojo and Candice eventually. All right. I think this is good. I, I think good. I'm going to save it. I still can't believe they did something like decent with the... Royal Rumble and having Seth win. The real MVP of the show is John Cena, though. Who did he fight? I don't know. He's probably in the Royal Rumble. He brawled with Joe. MVP, baby. (laughs) He was probably in the Rumble, yes. Paul Heyman, Triple H, and Kevin Owens, a 77. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe they all just sat there and stared at a wall. <laughs> just like awkward chair squeaking sounds. And that's <laughs> yeah. it. Still a 77. All right. Uh, that is all from us. We will not be back next week because I have a charity event that I will be doing. Uh, I can't do stuff on Fridays anymore for a while. So, so... we might be flipping to whatever other night Swarly does. Uh, I will be off 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, yeah. so make that work, Nick. I don't know. Probably Sundays or Monday. Whatever night you do, um, Fire Pro. Mm-hmm. I will make it work. Okay. As long as we are not on till twelve thirty, right. and I have work the next day. I'll see what I can do. I, uh, we'll make it work. We'll we'll make it happen. We'll do it live. Yeah, we'll figure it. We'll figure things out. Fuck it. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned to the Twitter. I'll I'll kind of keep things updated there. And uh, Halloween stream's still happening, so I will be hanging out all day Halloween and then putting that up on YouTube. So come hang out on that day if you can. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye, guys.